Hello, welcome. It's hard lore time. How are you, Bo? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Bo Bo has strep throat, and before we started, I was like, Bo, you don't have to talk about having strep throat. And we just had the exact moment where Michael Jackson's being interviewed, and he's like, I don't like touring. I'm tired. I'm sick. And the producer's like, love to tour. Michael, you can't say that. I love to tour. <laughs> So thanks for being a good sport, Bo. Thanks for being here, Strep Throat Man. No problem. Who do we got? We got a, what a special guest we have. Dominating the airwaves <laughs> currently. Mind Force. Pillars of Ivory. This pizza eating motherfucker. Cinema watching legend. Jay from Mind Force. How are you, sir? Oh, it's great to be here, guys. I'm honored. Thank you for that intro. It was great. <laughs> Certified friend of the show. I am a pizza eating motherfucker. That's, That's true. true. Scientifically speak, this is objective, you know? Objective. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm just over here piloting the X Wing fighter. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm doing great. I got off work. There's a snowstorm coming tonight, which means someone like me won't probably have to go to work tomorrow. So I'm really excited. What do you do for work? I'm a public school teacher. Oh, lovely. Yeah. How about that? I have that at like eighth or ninth in my notes here, but we can get right into that. That's yeah. our third teacher, I think. It's our third. We, hardcore loves teaching. Yeah. Of- Hudson Valley Hardcore loves teaching. That's right. Yeah, Hudson Valley Hardcore loves teaching. So, wow. what uh, what age, what age group? Oh, high school. Oh boy. All the grades in high school. Oh, have you seen a Mind Force shirt yet? Oh no, no, no! Not where I'm at. Not where I'm okay. at. Not a lot of mind force shirts in the hood. Okay. Um, even in even are you not te- do you, te- you teach in the Hudson Valley? That's and yeah, you yeah, preach I, in the Hudson Valley. <laughs> I teach. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I teach in the Hudson Valley. I mean, I don't see any. Uh, I do show my kids sometimes. Mm. Like you know, look at this. It's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And they're just like, <laughs> you know, what's wrong with you? <laughs> they think it's, it's nuts, but it's they are. Com- they I mean, are familiar with stage diving and stuff because you know. Like at rap concerts these days, people mosh and stage dive yeah, and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. they are familiar with that, but not necessarily like the fake karate type Mm-mm. that we're used to. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like uh, that. So a lot of, we had a lot of comments today. People were asking about you and the kickboxing gimmick. <laughs> the, 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 I, did, I had no idea that was such a commonly known thing. Your, 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 uh, your live isms yeah, are I so mean, famous. You say a word and then, you know, you got to hear about it for months. Game over. <laughs> Game over. It yeah, was- you know, no, I just, uh, when, when I came into this thing of ours, you know, that's what the guys called it. And I always liked that term for it. So I just started using it again. <laughs> real, real, like legit old head move to be mm. the, like, that's like the human furnace type move where he's like, <laughs> motherfuckers ninja, ninja kicking. You Ninja like kicking, like yeah. Next uh, one. Okay. Yeah, that's good shit. Um, what uh, are you like a sub? Do you do multiple things, or do you focus on one subject? I'm a history teacher. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a history teacher. There's, that's the second history teacher. Too. <laughs> you ever meet Pat Flynn? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I met Pat. Pat's a great guy. You guys talk about history and shit. <laughs> he loves to. I try not to. Right yeah. now, I'm, right now, currently, I'm dying. Yeah, okay, you got a favorite <laughs> just, history? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think uh, nah. Suicide File Man was a history teacher too. Wonder why history teachers? Does this is. is this so Mind Force as an entity? Mm-hmm. You've you've perfected the kind of current. Uh, form of existing as a band of like hey uh, we can't tour so oh, you gotta okay, see yeah. us when we're playing mm. you know um my i love being a part of the the can't tour community you know it's great <laughs> it's great it's great um do you ever it's great but every once in a while man i wish i could get out there for like two weeks i know can, two can weeks you? at least sometimes it's even hard to do a week dude yeah could you, you know? do it um, in the summer, if it lands on two months, I could do like a week. But honestly, I could do more than a week if I wanted to those two months. But I miss my family and my dog too yeah. much, man. Mm. 
It's funny. I, I feel like we've been around Mind Force and Pillars like every time we've been doing something. Yeah. Like for the show that like I feel like you guys are always touring. I feel my body feels like that too. <laughs> but we aren't. When, yeah. When yeah. you're flying twice a month for two days, it's this your body, it has the same effect on you physically. Your ass is gonna be sore. Dude. I'm nursing a lot of injuries all the time from just being a athletic psychopathic masher my whole life and shit like that. And the plane the kickboxer, fake karate specialist. <laughs> the plane kills me, man. Like this past month. Um, you know, we don't tour, but you know, I work full time all week, you know, and, uh, we did three weekends in a row mm. and it was brutal, man. Last weekend was my first weekend off in a while. And I was like, this shit rules <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that felt like we, it, I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, people who are on tour are probably like, yeah, okay. It felt like you're on tour, but at our age with what we're doing during the week and everything we have in our life and. With the injuries we're nursing, you know, Mike is, you know, he, he walks with a cane sometimes, you know, he's, wow. he's real fucked up from an injury. Uh, we, we, we had like a year hiatus because of it and all this mm -hmm. shit. So like, um, it's one of the, it's, it's one of the reasons we haven't been certain long distances. It's just because it's just too much like that's Australia cool. and that shit. That's crazy, man. That's a long flight. It's not good. It's it's yeah. so funny. To, it, it's like it's interesting to hear you describe Mind Force this way. When I feel like peripherally, the perspective of Mind Force is this: like you sound like a young band. Mm, you totally. haven't been that around that long, but you as people have. Um, you you fit right along with the fucking tsunamis and Pain of Truth out there who are hell yeah. They just got their GEDs, you know. Yeah. Love and that. They're, yeah, they're there. It's like the, every fest is now it's Mind Force and Pain of Truth at the top, but like Mind Force and God's Hate spent like two years back. That to was back great, man. Other. It was the best. It was what a run. You know? I used to, anytime you guys were after, like after or before us, I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> then there was a couple where we were before you. I was like, yes. Yeah, those were, I mean, that, those were what I was like, fuck. Come on. Yeah, no, it's, uh, there's certain, everybody, everybody there's, feels the fire. And then I gotta go fucking there. <laughs> certain bands, there's some certain bands out there now that I feel like there's more than usual where man, I hate going on after them. Oh. I hate going on after them. Every band gets a gets a Road Warrior pop now, you know? Now, that's why this shit rules right now. Man. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. It rules right now. What do you think? I'm curious to hear. I don't think we've ever asked this. Oh. What what do you think is the darkest era in the <laughs> hardcore? <laughs> Well, some the of it has to, yeah, that's a that's a great question. Yeah, yeah. What well, well, some of it has to do with my perspective on things and the subgenres I love the best in the in in hardcore, you know what I mean? But for me, it was definitely the 2000s. Across the board. Just melodic. Yeah, like yeah, like 2002 to 2008, 2007 yeah. maybe. Yeah. It was just like, you know, for me For a us. lot of things started to happen where I was like, oh, we're calling this hardcore? Oh, this, all right, we're calling this hardcore? Cool. You know what I mean? It was kind of, Things got a little, I don't know. You know, and I definitely was a part of some of the worst parts of it. I, you know, I was in a bunch of terrible bands. What bands? Uh, Alphabetical two, order. 2000s. <laughs> 2000s. Well, in the 90s, I was in a band called Elevate. Mm. We weren't good. <laughs> Uh, then I was in a band, When Dreams Die, we weren't good. Yeah, the 2000s, my, the two bands I were in were When Dreams Die and this other band, Robots and Empire. When Dreams Die was like a early metalcore thing at the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sure. Like uh, Cave In or Converge or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Robots and Empire was like neurosis shit. Damn. Oh. Yeah, it was like doomy slow doomy sludgy shit which is also kind of the late 2000s was popping too so it was yeah we're kind of we were kind of like we were kind of both sign of the times both what those did bands. you do in the bands well, i was a drummer man i'm a really? drum most of my life i've been a drummer huh you're yeah you're, you're breaking news every minute on this show <laughs> so far <laughs> you're a drummer with a b-stash drummer in your band that's got to feel good 
Oh, he's he's popping. He's an animal. He's popping. I love him. Yeah, he's great. He plays with my snare drum. Does he? Yeah, because the shit is crazy. <laughs> the shit sounds crazy. I um, never thought to ask. Mm-hmm. But you and I talked about at Sound and Fury um, your slash Mind Force's method of just writing pattern breakdowns. Oh, totally. That's a that's a lifestyle for you, right? Lifestyle for me. I consider, you know, I consider myself, you know, as you mention it, I consider myself a connoisseur of mouth riffing. Mm. Mouth riffing you, those patterns. Could you walk me through the mouth yes. the mouth riff pattern breakdown process start a, to finish? A lot of it has to do with copying. Mm. A lot of it has to do with copying. So, um, and I find that the older I get, the worse my patterns get. I almost have to go back to the old way and think of like a more not good at music brain pattern. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't know if this is making sense at all. No, it does. No, but, when uh, you overthink you, 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 and you get into like perfectionism, it, it kind of cuts out some of the, mm. the organic. Like one of Mind Force's biggest mosh parts, uh, one of our biggest songs in Nightmare, John, 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 you know, whatever. It's stolen from my first band that I was in, Elevate. We, yeah. like, we just took it because it was just the pattern was right and everything we were thinking of was like too smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? But usually <laughs> I'm listening to like, you know, some hardcore shit or maybe some death metal shit and I hear something I like and I stop and I try to like mimic the pattern a, a little bit or reverse it. And then I just record it into my phone. I just keep going. Yeah. You know, so. I love it. I mean, if you look at like the fucking, like the 50s and 60s, it was the same song under Mm. under the lyrics, under the melodies. We're doing the same thing now, but we're just repurposing things Mm. in a a creative way. I love that you are, uh, (laughs) that you're a purveyor of that. Chuck Berry wrote Johnny B. Good like 30 different times. And that's all he needed to do. That's all he, I I mean, literally all he needed to do. But (laughs) like every one of his hit songs is the same fucking song. Every riff is gone. We got to just figure out ways to play the ones that are out. Yeah, And stop playing notes. Enough with the notes. I'm with you. (laughs) Just John, John. Yeah. Oh, one, one is all you need. E chug, just whatever. Seven. For the, for the, okay. the one, the octave yeah, yeah. of O. Yeah, but that's still one. No. It's still O. It's still O yeah. one O. You know. <laughs> I mean, that's sometimes what I'm all about. I have to. Sometimes I'm not the best at like some of the more licky parts in a riff. Like I might come up with a part and like have like a little part where I'm like, all right, Mike, you got to do something there. You know, do I mean? a lick. Yeah, do Insert like lick. Man, 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 something like you know. I don't know. Because I, I play a little guitar, but I'm. Real bad at guitar. I'm terrible at guitar. You don't need to play it. You just need to know. Figure it out. What rocks, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Man, oh, no. You know that's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to, yeah, it's rock your there's face There's like off. this, there's a There's a formula that Mind Force has, has perfected at this point, you know? And and I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm not tired of it. I want it again, you know? It's the big intro, mm. big fast verse. Most definitely. Ring out. A hard ass line, most definitely, and then bum 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 bum. bum. Most definitely, hard ass line after the bum 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 bum. Yeah, skank version <laughs> of bum 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 bum. Best most song definitely. of all time. I love it. So that's um, the form, which is uh, the hate breed school, which is where every every. It's sort of like hate breed, like hate breed and pop music. Yes. Have the same kind of structure I'm always looking for. Start big. Pick it up. Hit them hard. And then give them a reason to get to the end. Yeah. Give them a reason to yeah. get to the end. You, you got, you were, were, this is two guys who magna cummed loud as hell from Hate Breed <laughs> University talking right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, ev- everything I do has that, even if I'm not doing uh, hardcore. Hate Breed really influenced me and like the way it sounds funny but like the way i look at songwriting comes a lot from 
the first hate breed seven inches I got and satisfaction. So they like they gave you your glasses that you're looking at. Oh, most definitely. Hmm. Everything I do as far as song structure, I mean Colin nailed it. He, you know, not that it's a Rubik's Cube to figure out, but it's I mean it's it's it is not broken. It is it's all perfect, it's all it I want for music format. for me. And it's and it's honestly for me, I don't want much more from hardcore. Mm. It doesn't good, need. To, I mean, no. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about the old way, you know. That's the old way. The death threat way. Hook them, kill them, <laughs> bring them back to life. Bring them back to life. <laughs> kill them yeah. again. Kill them again. Over. I mean, is it the only genre of music that where a band could get away with playing for 15 minutes and people will like love it because yeah. it's not really about. Maybe noise because they're like, all right, guys, this is yeah. a little loud. You know? But you know what? I mean? <laughs> Turn but that other track. than that, just hardcore. But like with hardcore, it's more about the the vibe and the energy and blah blah blah. And and that's a, is that a black it. album? Sorry to jump in, Bo. Is yeah. that a black album era Metallica shirt? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Mom's how do you guys how do you guys feel about the black album? Take a fucking guess, brother. I I love <laughs> the black yeah. album. I love it. Bo would die for the black album. I'm fucking down with it too, man. I don't think it's their best, but I love it. It took me a minute to just be like, yeah, loosen up, you know, just be like, unbutton the shirt and be like, oh, yeah. it feels good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know Andy Williams mean? was the one who was like, just let go. It's fine. It's just okay step back and look at the songs. It has a few know? of my favorite Metallica songs exactly. on it. Exactly. And they're both ballads. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. Right? You got it. Those are the two. You're going you're gonna to tell me those are bad, you know? It's, it can't I, my be dad done. tries to. He's I mean, he's scientifically wrong. My, oh, he's wrong about a lot. One time we were in the backyard <laughs> smoking cigars, and he said to me, well, you know, if you, you ever have a moment? Well, no, nah, you guys don't smoke cigars. But no, no. But like I eat a Zebra think about Think something. about it's what that might be thing. like for me. Okay. My, a cigar with my dad on the, on the deck. You know, it's a real father-son moment. Nobody's out there. We're talking about music. And we're having real connections. And he's like, yeah, you know that sound like that, that they started doing in the 80s? Like it's like gung, gung, gung. He's like trying to make the sound of a palm mute. Uh, yeah, dad. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> do finally, you I'm know like, about uh, gun Dad, gun? I'm like, you mean palm muting? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, I fucking hate that. Oh. And he, I said, dad. That's the sound of your son's soul. <laughs> how could you? How? And he said, I'm sorry, Jay. I just hate it. What and the more I talk to him, the more I find things that like for me, the palm mute is it's all the ever. greatest thing in music ever. <laughs> ever. Yeah. The greatest thing in music ever. I remember, I can remember the first time I, I heard it. When was it? When was the first time you heard a palm music? Speaking of Metallica, it was in it was in um I was either in Nick Haynes' car or Scott Prater's car in ninth grade. He put on Darkness. Yeah. It was uh it was the Injustice for album. It actually might have been the blackened breakdown. Oh yeah. And I just oh, heard wow. it because I was not from that world, guys. I never right. listened to heavy metal or rock and roll or I mean, rock and roll, but like 70s rock and roll yeah. because of my dad or well, like punk so rock or anything like that. So I hear that. I heard that shit and I just wanted to, you know. That's what I was going to ask is what kind of music does your dad listen to? Mm. My dad listens to 70s shit and 60s shit. The hardest he gets is uh, Black Sabbath. I mean, that's when Hill? the palm you was invented. Yeah. I know, I That's know, I don't. I try to tell him that. I try yeah. to. He just, I don't know. He. I mean, they, listen. <laughs> don't try to understand this get guy. Him, get him in the room. Let's go. Right. Th th is, guy, he, is he one hundred percent Italian? Yeah, he's one hundred percent. Oh yeah, come on. He doesn't understand it. He <laughs> when when I was in tenth uh, grade, my friends and I. Uh, there was this band called Inner Dam. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them. Mm -hmm. They're from the Hudson Valley in the 90s. If you like shit like 108 mm. or I'm Broken, check them out. They're a dope band like that, but nobody knows who they are. But the singer used to record VHSs of all the shows everywhere in the area in Connecticut and he used to sell them at a heavy metal store. 
called Rock Fantasy, and we used to buy them to try to see ourselves moshing. We didn't give a fuck about the bands, watching fuck the yeah. bands. Yeah. And uh, my dad comes home one day, and uh, I don't know if you guys ever had an old VCR with the slow motion button on it. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. We were like putting in slow motion like pictures of us taking shots and connecting on other <laughs> shots. Just be like, oh, no, no, how is your face not broken? You know? And my father walked in. And like we just like looked at him, and he looked at us, and he looked at the slow motion, and I was like getting punched in the face, like at that moment in slow motion, and he just looked at us, and he was just like, you know, you guys are like, you know, you're real fucking stupid, you know that? <laughs> wow. And it was just like, yeah, <laughs> you know, we were just like, yeah, this is stupid, but we love it, you know, we love it. So. Disgraziad. Was he supportive? Did he drop you off at gigs and stuff, or was it? Kind of oh yeah, hard, yeah. Well, the first the, the the first show, the first show I ever played um, at the Chance Theater. Uh, after we played, I got put in the hospital because mm. uh, I tried to mosh, and uh, I don't I don't remember or know exactly what happened. Damn! But some maniac I'm probably friends with now killed me, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, it was bad. Like, they kept me overnight. I kept repeating the same. I kept having, like, 10-minute memory lapses. Didn't know what happened all day. And I remember my parents showing up and just being like, you know, the fuck kind of music concert were you at, you know? Mm -hmm. But they let me go back. And, you know, to this day, they're really supportive of me. They're my biggest fans. And uh, they love Hudson Valley hardcore. They get the whole thing. They love all my friends. A lot of them been over on Christmas. And uh, yeah, even even though my dad, he doesn't understand anything. He's a dummy. I love him. <laughs> I mean, they're a big part of Hudson Valley hardcore, whether they like it or know it or not. You know, they really are. They really are. I got some they're, songs about them. They're the great godfathers of <laughs> Hudson Valley hardcore. <laughs> well, there's a there's an iconic story that's only iconic to my brother and I. But uh, when CD shopping. When Taylor was like a young, young lad, mm. uh, asked our dad, I want to hear Jun Jun. Because he didn't wow. know what a poem he was or how to describe it. But he knew he knew he wanted to hear Jun Jun. And much like yours, my dad <laughs> said, no, here's Soundgarden. Which probably had a couple of Jun Jun's Jun. on it. There's some, he didn't know. He fucked up. He fucked it. it was a different <laughs> gate. Way different yeah. gate was open. Was that's you know, that's like way. when my my dad threw out my Snoop Dogg tape. Mm. <sighs> Brutal. So how did Taylor discover John John? If it wasn't Soundgarden, if he, he had to wanted discover. Ride the Lightning. Mm. So he went back and got Ride the Lightning on his own terms. Damn. Gathered some coins from the couch and some shit. You know, a lot of John Johns on that. And one. that was and a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sick ass John John's on Yo, that shit. Big, big one. Dun, 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 right at the yeah. top. Yeah. Are you Love kidding it. me? Now, I never had. My dad, with me and my dad, were always in a battle over gangster rap. Okay. He he hated it. He hated it. But Did he, he want you to not listen to it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, he, 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 um, one day I came downstairs and he was sitting at the table with my Snoop Dogg cassette tape. And he was just like holding it, kind of like. Waving it in the air. Look what you know? I got. And I was like, yeah, you know, that's Snoop Dogg. And he was just like, you see this cover? <laughs> you guys know the Snoop Dogg, doggy style cover? Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. You know, the dog's bending over. And and I was just like, yeah. And he said, you know what, Jay? I list for, I got to stop for a minute. Yo, Dad, I'm sorry I'm telling this story. But <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> he's like, you know, Jay, uh, you know what? I listened to this tape. I gave it a chance. And you know the way they talk about women on this tape? And, uh, you know, he was right. You know, <laughs> that's a progressive take. Yeah, he was. He's a progressive guy. My dad. Wow. Progressive hmm. guy. And um, I was like, yeah, dad. But, you know, I'm not I don't I don't think, you know, I was just trying to tell me. And, he, and I don't remember what happened, but I made a man who said, Do you see this tape. And he opened up the back door window. It was wintertime. So it was snowing and muddy out. And he just, wow! Oh, oh just the whole thing, it? the whole oh, right, right, right in front of me, and then threw it outside. <laughs> and he's like, "Fuck that tape! Fuck them! Fuck those guys! Fuck the way they talk wow. about women!" Blah blah blah. 
He was ahead really, of his time. He was really upset with, with, about with those thoughts. The way they, you know, talk about women. And, uh, but you know what? I went out that night. I snuck outside, and I got that tape. And I went inside. You respooled it, and I fucking stood there, bro. And I no got and, and I, there were some like pieces of it. I had to gently uncrinkle wow. to make the flatness to have the flatness come back. Of and I just and I I listened to that tape forever still. <laughs> and I recently wow. told my dad. I said, you know what? You tried to throw out my Snoop Dogg tape. <laughs> You didn't fucking get it. I listen to that shit every day, and I still love it. You motherfucker. Wow. I told him. So, yeah. Unreal. And you can't. Wow. That that's an experience that cannot be. Uh, you like you can't compare that to anything that happens today. You that's are you are, are parents like deleting Spotify playlists? I know how yeah. they can't. Man, these motherfuckers works. don't know how good they have it. It's so. It's everything's free basically. <sighs> Yeah. I know. I'm so glad I did not grow up now, dude, bro. I would be a, a fucking demon. <laughs> the things I would look up because we used to seek out. Um, I'm making myself sound like Rip Van Winkle, but no, you're doing great. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we would seek out these these videos called Traces of Death. Have you ever heard of this? Faces of, of death. Uh, faces, faces of, of death. death. Yeah. Well, well, faces. The traces was the real shit we heard. Oh really? Yeah, yeah we, we were on some. We were, really yeah, want to yeah. see a human being die shit. You know, which yeah, is yeah. totally. What was wrong with us? Not, Dude. not the thoughts of a functioning human. Yo, I you know needed. I, mean? I was like, I gotta see a corpse. I don't I'm, know what it is. I'm, I'm not just, even joking. Today, on my walk back from coffee, for whatever reason, Rotten.com popped into my head. Oof, that's a rough one. That went to places Scary. I didn't want to go because see, that was what happened. I just want to see a corpse, and then. <laughs> You know, I want to see a face Whoa. of death, please. Yeah. Just, I can't watch any of that shit at all anymore. Like any, no, I can't even watch like a leg break. No, no not oh, at all. check this out. Uh-huh. I thought I could watch it then, but I couldn't even watch it then. Mm. So I used to live with this dude from the Hudson Valley called Big Will, legendary Masha from our area. Mosh for all out war for 20 years straight. Just <laughs> amazing. A dope dude. Shout out to Will. But he loved traces of death. And when we lived together, <laughs> when we lived together, he was on. There was a, a a period of a couple months where he was unemployed, and I was working. And I would come home, <laughs> and he would be asleep on the couch, like with yo traces of death, just playing, bro. I'm repeat feeding into this motherfucker's subconscious. That's dark. And I That's would be sided. like, I would be like, yo, you gotta shut this shit. I would come home and shut it off, and he would like wake up. <laughs> You know, what are you shutting off? What are you shut off for? I'm watching it. I'm like, no, you're not. You're sleeping. And it was a whole thing. And it, it, we even had some small skirmishes where I'd be like, yo, you can't. I, I need to stop watching that shit, man. <laughs> so I couldn't even take it down, bro. No. I thought I could, but once once was too, wow. almost too much for me. I, I can't even take it. To this day, I have trouble with some death metal covers. Mm, um, wow. Death metal artwork. Like right? Cannibal Corpse and shit? Oh, yeah. brutal. I mean, it's and it's hilarious because I love Cannibal Corpse, <laughs> but I will never. I, I can't rock the shirt. But bro. visually, you hate him. Uh, it's just, it's, it's just so, <laughs> uh, just disgusting. It's icky. It's icky. Yeah, it's, it's very, very icky. icky. I'm not. That's that world. And you know, shout out to anybody that loves this. That's totally cool if you do. But like the whole horror movie, blood. You know, mm. that's not for me personally. Let me ask you this. And it doesn't really make sense. I'm a hypocrite because I watch someone get shot with a gun in the face and be like, oh, that was dope. But yeah, but that's that's simulated, you know? Yeah. All, all that's movie for the stuff. sake of the story. Yeah. Yeah. Movie stuff. But oh, well, certain okay. like movie violence, like horror, torture stuff. It the, just yeah, the, bothers, yeah, oh, I'm, bothers I'm me. I'm with you there. Yeah. I can't. You fuck with Saw? Nah. You should. Dude. It's good. <laughs> I'm, yo. What, what, yo. It's. I don't know if Tiffany can hear me, but uh, that was one of the first dates my wife and I went to. We went to go see Saw. Saw one. Yeah, Saw one, and I was just great like, date. Uh, I was date. like, "This is fucked up, babe." <laughs> you know, <laughs> good movie, but man, I mean, I, you know. But then the ending hit, and maybe that's the reason you guys are married today. You know, 
Yeah, maybe. And I remember soft. people screaming during the ending of that movie. Like, in the theater, just like, ah! like, freaking out. Yo, when the fucking score kicks in at the end we, with the song. Da, 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 we, da, 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 What's that, da, 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 da. Colin? Oh, wait, that director's wrong. name's escaping me. What's his name again, dude? James Wan. He's done a bunch of stuff I like. Mm, I like Aquaman. that. You fuck with Aquaman? <laughs> yeah, I do fuck with Aquaman. It rocks, dude. It's better than uh, the new Black Panther. I, I do fuck that. with... I'm, I started watching that not knowing who did it. And that first fight scene happened where they're in the sub. Yeah. And just some of it, I was like, oh, I was like, who did this? This, You're like, is, this has saw vibes. This is visually <laughs> stim- you know, just it. I think Aquaman visually <laughs> is stimulating. It's a fantasy epic. It rocks. It's a no, straight up good I like movie. Aquaman. I don't care. I like, though, a lot of stuff I would get crucified for in, me, the, in the DC world. I mean, I fuck, me. I fuck with all the DC movies. You're talking to a... a, a, a Batman vs. Superman Ultimate Cut Loyalist right here. Yeah, you know, I fuck with the Snyderverse, the Snyder Cut, whatever it's, it's called. It's straight up good. I love it. There, oh, it's only one moment I hate that I fast forward every time. Grandma's pee or whatever? The pee pee? In the um, no, um, <laughs> no, but that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, the, scene, the, the, the scene with the flash and the slow motion and that song, I hate At it. The, the end of Justice League? No, it's like the middle of it. It's a scene mm. with the Flash. He's like saving a girl in the Snyder Cut. And they're playing this really overly dramatic American Idol music, and he's catching right. her in slow motion. Mm. Some reason oh, that, right. That yes, pop- the, right. It's like the Flash uh, and Iris classic origin scene. Exactly. I know what you're talking about. With the truck. With the truck. Exactly. Classic. Classic. Yeah, that classic was Classic story, but um, That's dog I, the song ruined it for me. For sure. Colin, before we move on, what's your favorite Saw Trap? My favorite Saw Trap. Mm. Yeah, see, this is demented. I, I yeah, really yeah, like yeah. the the Chester Bennington one. We, we, Crazy. It's we, like the it's like the I think there's like clamps involved in like a car. Okay. Oh. Really good. The exploding <laughs> face one. Clamps. Is classic I can't imagine the, where those are going. With the head <laughs> thing? Yeah. That one's a classic. Mm-hmm. The heroin needles one is real gnarly. That one's oh. the same. That one is in. Jay, you don't want to see that one. That sounds horrific. You would hate that one. Hair, did they die by heroin needles? No. It's like a it's a, it's like a junkie that they have as a as Oof. like a trap victim, and they're mm. like, you you will now die by your own vices. You know, like how many years, how many years. saws are there? How many saws are there? Oh, Thirteen brother. or something. It's got to be maybe like six or maybe seven. nine. See, why can't they do that with like casino? <laughs> then I'm all I, in. I bet you saw one made more money than Casino. That's why. No. Way. Yeah, you're right. No way. Casino you nine, that? you know, <laughs> could be good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Casino nine, I'm watching. Yeah. Has Scorsese made a sequel? Mm-mm. Like no, right? I don't Holy think so. shit! What a great question. I thought when you said that, I was like. Oh, my yeah. brain's about to answer it. I don't think he he hasn't. No, yeah. That's hasn't. fucking, for lack of a better word, gangster. I, you took the words right out of my mouth, yeah. man. I was about <laughs> to say that's gangster, man. Yeah, Tarantino's made one Kill Bill, but it's mm-hmm. part of a. So I don't know if you it really came call out it. separately. It made its own money. Okay, you know, I consider it a sequel. It's okay. a sequel. It's, it's a, a part of all time goat sequel. Yeah, amazing. Oh, I love it. Which which part do you like better, one or two? I think I like two. I like the uh, the fantastic kind of Japanese vibe of one, mm. but the something like so serene about two, mm. um, where it's it's more it's kind of it's really dialed in, and then the five point palm exploding heart technique scene at the end is all time great. It's amazing. Yeah, I love badass. the the Bud Michael Madsen shit. Too. Oh, he's incredible. Like when he buries he's so her good. And his, Yo, his he's life only just being good miserable. in Tarantino movies. It's crazy. It is crazy. Oh no, I like him in something else. What do I like him in? Sharknado Five or something. <laughs> I like him in Wide Earp with Kevin Costner. That makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, there's something else I just saw him in. I'm not going to be able to think of it. So, but you were like, whatever. "Yo, what the fuck?" Is my-? Most of the time when I see him in something, it's like a TBS original movie, and I'm like, "Why mm-hmm. the fuck is Michael Madsen in this?" Mm. Michael Madsen and Gerard Butler. Fire agents. <laughs> Gerard deserves so much better than he's getting, man. 
Yeah, what happened to Gerard Butler? He, yo, that's what, like, who does he owe money to? But I uh, mm. will say, Plane, kind of dope. Plane's pretty sick. Free I didn't Willie. see that. I didn't see that. It's in, it's in, as insane as you want it to be. Mm. And the action is, like, brutal. Dude, he mm. really is only in Tarantino movies. Michael Madsen? Like, like good Tarantino, like those Tarantino movies. Tarantino movies and Sharknado 5. And, and Free Willy. Yeah. But then Gerard Butler... His agent breathes, and Gerard's like, "I'll do it." Yeah, yeah. I could see that. I could see I'll them both it. as the villain in a Steven Seagal movie. Absolutely, <laughs> on it's, it's coming any day now. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, Mind Force, huh? <laughs> Mind Force. Something else I like about Mind Force songs. We're not talking about. Tw- I mean, let me let me get this out of the way before we go to the other stuff. You do something that I'm all about. Oh, let's hear it. You go pit to pit, bro. I've, uh, I have there's a something that I created with my brother Jesse Sutherland from All That War called Mosh Three Philosophy. Please tell me more. <laughs> Enlighten us. Well, not every song has the ingredients to get to Mosh Three. Of course. But when you're talking about pit to pit to pit, mm, oh, that's coveted. We were in a band that called Cobra Commander together. You, you probably could not find it. I don't think it exists. Nothing exists on my MySpace anymore, right? Link in description. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Cobra Commander. <laughs> um, it's like Hudson Valley mosh bullshit. You know what sick. I mean? So sick. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we talked about how all our favorite bands and Jesse's band, All At War, will go pit to pit. We'll go mosh one. And then Mosh 2. And Jesse was like, bro, do you think Mosh 3 is possible? <laughs> Without being stupid. Right. You know what I mean? Of course. Not, I love this. And it is. And it is. And if you can get to Mosh 3 in some songs, I feel like... I feel like Mach 4 is overdoing it without a part in between. I don't know. Again, it depends on does, the does Let me ask you this. Does Mosh 3... Slow down count like does slowing down Mosh three halfway count as Mosh four or is that extended Mosh three? No, it can it can count as Mosh four. Well, then Mosh four is entire is absolutely possible. <laughs> okay, let right. me tell you, I, I one small step for man, one I've I've leapt there for oh, man. That, that's amazing. What, uh, and what Mosh exi- four can pick up rather than slow down if it's uh, yeah. slow. You know, what I mean? well, it depends what we're bouncing back and forth. Great. Point. What are examples of Mosh three? If you have any off off the rip. Mosh three, Mosh two, oh, pit oh, to pit. oh, we got oh, 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 um, condemned to suffer, all at war. Condemned to suffer goes three, goes three moshes in a row. Condemned to suffer, condemned to drown in this filth. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work out. Wow. I mean, technically, it's just it could be like six mosh parts. Yeah, yeah. Condemned <laughs> to suffer. I think only has one upbeat part, if that. I'm going to have to do a study after this to make sure I'm right. But I'm pretty sure contempt because then it goes that one starts off. Right. You know, we're, we're moshing right away, which of is that, how insane is that part? It's incredible. It's incredible. That, I mean, they could uh, condemn to suffer. They're the band where that's they, they haven't. They haven't. They don't suck. Mm. And I don't think they ever will. Mm. No, they never will, man. They're, they're, the they're, they're our bolt thrower, you know. Mm. They're hardcore's bull thrower, where they're just they're never gonna stop rocking. You just blew my mind with how on point <laughs> that crazy. statement was. Incredible. That's they're a, our bull really thrower. Yeah. I'm gonna can I use that? Yeah, it's yours. That's amazing. Yeah, it's on the record. <laughs> but I think the reason they get to it on Condemned to Suffer is they start with Mosh One. Yeah. Oh. And then so they you're do saying an, then they do thing. another one, then they do Go 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 go! Nah, 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 nah. That re- that slower one right mm-hmm. in the middle, and then they get to another one. But I think there's a fast part in between. So you're saying the th- Mosh three, you're you're only talking you're talking within the confines of an entire song or within a section of the song. A section. Okay. So just pit to they, pit to pit. Pit to pit to pit. They start that song off that way. Boom boom boom. Let me check. Let me see if I've gone pit to pit to pit. Let me do some math here. Oh, I, I believe I, I believe you have. I believe you have. I've at least come. I've da- I've I've tickled it. You know, I, I've, I've, I've witnessed I, it. I World War Five have. for sure. For World War Five is pit to pit to pit live. 
Ah, uh, mm. tickling. Now that's fucking cool. When you go Mas three only live, only live <laughs> exclusive. Ooh. You gotta come and see it. I can't give it to you on the recording. Mas three um, live mentality. Be harder's two. Finish the job is two. That's it. Trying to think. I don't think harm's way. Two. Does. I mean, two is usually the move. That's the move. Yeah. You and you can't. You can't go. You can't abuse three. No, no, you really can't. No, That's the right. one it's sparing. I mean, clearly, I'm not. I'm. I'm not seeing it. It's like your best mosh move. You can't abuse yeah. it. You can't do it too much. <laughs> you got to save it. What's your favorite move? Oh, mosh move. Yeah. A uh, three kick combination: frontal kick into a spin kick into a back kick across wow. the edge of the pit. So wow. That's my that, right I, foot forward. <laughs> right foot forward. Left foot comes around. Comes around. And, and then you hit, and, and then, then you right reverse foot the trajectory. Back. Wow, I haven't figured out the back kick yet. Mm, there's a few different ways. I don't have the balance for it. The equal, my equilibrium doesn't support back kick science. I don't think I've ever thrown a spin kick. That's so sad. It just it's wasn't. So it's not my. It's just not my thing. You got to change up your pants situation because mine. I'm telling you. And clearly, I do too. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that on stage in front of everyone. That's it's brutal, rough, man. It's rough, but I was wearing some some manscaped undies that kept me real secure, <laughs> so we're good. Mm. Everything was fine. Um, Back to head. How was that? How that work? Colin, what's your favorite move? Yeah, I wanted you that? to take a step back and show us, like this one, like that, where you come there and come around. That's the one. That's I'm the one. There. I'm not there yet, but you know, wow. maybe that's my New Year's resolution. That's why I have a, yeah. <laughs> It's February. We'll, we'll get there. My favorite move has got to be the stick, man. Yeah. Mm, that's, I mean, it's classic. If you can it's make art. that look cool, it's fucking crazy. It's beautiful. It's, it's graceful. Crazy. That's the thing that we're, like, you could get somebody in a hardcore with that move alone. Mm. Wow. No music. Some of the... Uh, <laughs> Good a more dangerous move than people realize because if you do it right, you're real dizzy. You're like a little thrown off with where you are. And oh, so I'd be falling left. You ever like <laughs> like do it across the whole floor? I mean, I have moments where I'm like, ah, I hope I don't die. I don't even know Dude, where I am. Straight up, I feel like Taz after fucking just being like, oh, Taz. I'm straight up Taz. Yeah, the sick man is just so so. Gorgeous. He 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 snapped with that one. You know. Yeah. Yeah, no, oh man. The video when in the music video when he does it. Unbelievable. That? It's the greatest moment in any music video ever made. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's better than bad Scorsese. <laughs> it's better than What about in the Biohazard video where they're moshing with a pit bull, holding a pit bull? That's... That one That is that I told isn't I had that, a moment with my wife that, where I too? said that's the greatest moment in a music video. <laughs> The Bobby Spin being uh Bobby Spin is good. Being in out of frame forever. too. Yeah. <laughs> isn't are, are isn't Marauder some of the Marauder guys in the, the punishment video too? Oh yeah, all those guys isn't are in Crown of like, Thorns, Map, right the, they're, yeah. they're moshing on the Brooklyn Bridge, I'm pretty sure. It's, I mean that I think that's it. I think that's that, that kind would where does that was that permitted, you think? Or do you think no, it was I, like I, I saw something, I forget if I saw what did I see? Or maybe Drew Stone told me. I can't remember, but no, I heard they just did that. That's... I heard they just did that because he he always, and I could be getting the details a little wrong, but that dude who also filled, I think he filmed the Down by Law Mad Ball video too. He wow. always had like stock rolls of film to use. Mm -hmm. So he had a camera and had stuff with him. And he was like, you know, he just invited all those maniacs up on that bridge. The rest is history. Was he the through and through guy too? I don't know. Did he just do all that stuff? Mm. I don't know. He did a lot of that stuff in the 90s. I'm not sure. Those two I'm sure of, but I'm not sure what else. Mm. The craziest. Well, I mean, that's quite a resume. Yeah. The, the craziest to me, and I think we briefly talked about this on the last episode, Colin, but is, the, is Slayer playing in front of the pyramids. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fucked, man. But like, and like actually there. So you, they had to get permits. And like, what did that cost? I have no idea. And like, why? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> you got any question. ideas for the video? Yeah, I don't know. Fucking go to the pyramids or something. <laughs> and then they're like, okay. okay. So sick. Yeah, it's it, crazy. It, 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 I think I read somewhere that it was the last time 
that like any anyone was ever allowed to like perform and film in front of them. They're like very protective about it now. Nice. Anyway. It's a good last time. <laughs> Pretty good. How do you guys feel ask. about music videos? Have you? I fucking despise them. I hate them. Making them? Have you made? Have you made one yet? I won't. You mm. won't. No, it's not for me, man. You and you and Brody King are are really firmly on the same page there. I have ones I like and I think are good, but I'm not trying to see me in one. Be the guy doing that stuff. It's not for me. I don't mind the the finished product, but it's actually like a pretty miserable experience. It's humiliating. Oh, dude, the fucking dead body one is dope. That one's Thank sick. You. But that's that was one of like the, it's one of the best ones I've seen. And that we did that in a way where that it was like this cannot be this humiliating thing because we're just kind of rocking the desert real quick. It's one shot, 30, right? For 30 seconds. One shot, done. Oh, that's cool. so cool, man. That's cool. That's so, fun. That was like a way to be like, how do we not make this corny thing and how do we yeah. make somebody maybe want to watch this twice? Pretending to play your own song oh. for hours mm. and hours is is like brutal. I, Singing I, is the worst. I didn't do a music video, but we did do something where we went on a show when during COVID, when there wasn't music and um, we had to play a song a couple times and I didn't mm. even like that. Mm -mm. I didn't even like that. Just not it, as the, just something. wasn't for me. That's all. You sure. know what I mean? I think it's dope. I think if, if, if other bands are doing it and I want other bands to do it, do it yeah. because as a fan, I want to see my favorite right. bands. There's but definitely it's just not for me. There's ways, there's ways around doing the corny shit for sure. And some bands have figured it out. A live stuff, Mixed in, you can't beat it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like True. the the TUI fucking believe video. That's a great. That we video. talked about that one's awesome. Oh, it's that's fucking like a, sick, that's man. It's just a like guy smoking crack, and then like the best show you've ever seen. Yeah. You know. No, yeah. So, if I do, if we did like a full song music video, I mean, we do shit on like social media and stuff. But if we did do one, it would just be insane moshing. Cuts. Yeah, just mm -hmm. moshing. Yeah, yeah. Probably not even. We wouldn't even be in the video that much. Just moshing. You could redo, you know that sick of it all video with the with the mosh moves? <laughs> yeah. Like teaching you the mosh moves? It's one of the first hardcore videos I ever saw, man. That, I think that's... it's the that and punishment were like at this on the same day on channel four yeah. seventy two and TVX. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um you could redo that with just mosh other dudes mosh showing you mosh moves. That could be cool. I go. think the first like hardcore related video I ever saw was a live AFI, like early AFI. Mm. Playing through what's the the intro on Black Sales the through our bleeding, yeah. We, uh, 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 well, no, strength through wounding. That that's the um, what a what a track. they opened with that and it was just like crazy, you know. Nice. I remember, I think Chris had downloaded it on like LimeWire or something. I remember that. The first mu music video you saw though, no, uh, oh, what would that be? H had to be had to be punishment, or iconic, dude. Terror. Mm had one very early on from yeah, one with the, the other like the overcome video and that LA was on River. like fuse oh, did or they, they had a video for that yeah wow. yeah, yeah they're just kind of sure. walking around la and like singing stat crazy if you look at that now you'll be like oh that's that guy that guy that guy there's luis there's Dre. oh really it's, it's yeah it's I that's it that's how that sick of it all video is i i think one of those guys is isn't Lord Isaac one of the monsters in that? I'm in that sure. I, I, would, I would imagine. Mm. I haven't seen it in, since like 1999, probably. <laughs> so I have to, <laughs> yeah, I have you, to you know what's crazy? That's like my least favorite Sick of It All song. People love yeah. it. That one was not for me. Hmm. Post, post Just Look Around, it get, I'm not like mm. revisiting much. But phew, that and before, those are something. That's, Sick of It All is a band where I can revisit like once every three years. Okay. And like, God damn. <laughs> yeah. It's like, they're a band I forget about. Biohazard kind of is too. Mm. But in, but I know those songs so fucking well that it's like, I don't need to listen to them. You know, what's your stance on state of the world address? I mean, I mean the first biohazard album I got, so I like it. I think it's one of the most ambitious hardcore records ever written. Ooh, oh, I could totally see that. To that's a great it. way to put it. Yeah, it's long as hell. It's creative. It's it's like weird, but still hard. It sounds major label audience friendly, mm -hmm. but it's also still hard. Weird and hard is really difficult to do. It's tough to do. 
Oh, that's only a few bands have ever gotten it right, my friends. Mm-hmm. Only a few, in my opinion. And the thing is about that is once you get weird and hard a couple times, you don't need any more weird and hard. Sure. Mm. So I like I like like I love like my favorite weird and hard band of all time is Dead Guy. I fucking okay. love Dead Guy. But I don't were, need I don't need any other dead guys. That's where I'm kind of weird. Yeah, no, I get that. They you were know, definitely so. bordering on omission from our master killer list to me. It was close. Mm. But yeah, you're right. I think Converge is probably my favorite. Weird okay. and hard. Weird hard. Definitely. They're one of the best at it. But they They're balance the weird it. hard on like their on its own on yeah. their own wavelengths, though, you know? Absolutely. But but then there's Dude, we didn't talk about this when we were talking about Jane Doe, but there's like parts on that record where I've listened to that record a thousand times. Mm -hmm. But like, what's the Phoenix in Flight, Phoenix in Flight, like the two, like the really fast double, double, there's no snare in that whole part. Mm. There's just like things. That's just Ben being like a drum genius. And it's just like things that like, like that's a really weird thing to do in a really crazy part. You know, so I, I think they're like the kings of, of it, but there's a few others. Yeah. I so one could argue your, your, your list is short, Jay. Your weird heart. Yeah, my list is short. I, I mean, some of the, especially the early Converge, I mean, I, I can remember where I was the first time I heard Jane Doe. That's how explosive that album was. <laughs> if you were there when it dropped, it was no matter what you were into, you were stopping to listen to it. They're definitely one of the one of the best but for me the list is short also for me another one on the list is um a legendary unknown hudson valley band called dissolve Mm -hmm. they're they're actually i take back what i said (laughs) they're weird and hard big body hard i mean they'll (laughs) they'll crush dead body they'll they'll crush that guy they'll crush that guy (laughs) i almost said dead body but i didn't mean i meant (laughs) that's okay you're probably right probably crush them too Physically. No, I, that's one of the reasons why I, 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 you guys are so sick is you have some death metal shit that reminds me of them. Because they were, they were on some Morbid Angel shit a lot. I know you guys are too. Big time. And that's my Brilliant. shit. I love that some shit. Some of that little the one with the mm. – you skip the middle one, but you do the third one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Give it to Huge. me every time. Yeah. <laughs> love it. I'm a huge Morbid Angel fan. Huge Morbid Angel fan. Yeah, they're the they're the master killer of Florida Death Metal. They're the marauder of Florida mm. Death Metal to me, you know? Okay. Who else is... Wait, wait. Who else is in... I, wait, I feel like there's another one I might... Well, DSI's pretty fucking sick, dude. I'm yeah, thinking. of course. Um, I, my, my, I love DSI. Love them. So what? this is not like criticism, but they, they have the the kind of death metal stigma of, of not really knowing when to end a song, mm. you know, whereas morbid angel, there's a, there's a payoff 99% of the time. Yeah. Camel Corpse, I'll say there's a payoff hundred percent of the time, which is crazy. Well, yeah. There's always a thing at the end. You're right though. There isn't always with morbid angel. Mm-hmm. And those there's songs do not make it on my death metal bangers only playlist. Hmm. But DSI, the couple that do, are like the best death metal songs ever. You know, I mean, for, for me, it's Morbid Angel. I like them yeah. better than DSI. But um, I'm with you. They're a Marauder. You know, I'm with <laughs> you on that. I'm yeah. with you on that. Is Obituary I, from Tampa? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're, they're fucking. I'm 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 more they're of a Morbid there. Angel guy. Morbid yeah, Angel's like in my top three death metal bands. One hundred percent. Covenant yeah. is is the master killer of death of Florida death metal. For me, it's too, that was my state. That's amazing. Yeah. No particular order. Morbid Angel, Bolt Thrower. Mm. I gotta think about spot three. I'm gonna have to get back <laughs> to you. It's you gotta, gotta be. You, you might have to go local for me. For that third cannibal song. corpse, who, 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 suffocation, Can- probably. Oh, right? I mean, I love suffocation, yeah. I love suffocation, Long Island boys, yeah, I don't Long know. Island Music Hall of Fame, suffocation. And so, what's the would, you, go- would you consider death a death metal band? Yeah, oh, then they're 100%. my number three, then really, really? that's fair, yeah, I'm a big death guy, but not everybody. We'll fucking say they're death metal. You know what I mean? Oh, I think they, the- they, they just, they kind of invented the like prog 
that. Totally, you know? totally. Mm-hmm. But they they got on some like almost like like from symbolic on. They're almost on, and it's my favorite shit. So this isn't a knock, but they're on, almost on some like Ozzy Osbourne death metal shit. But then, but then they they like mix mix the Ozzy shit with the hardest. Oh, dude, chug, chug pattern. Bugga dum, bugga dum, bugga dum, bugga dum. Yeah, yeah the crazy. What's man. the one? The fucking uh, scavenger of human sorrow. You know that one. Do I know scavenger? <laughs> Bro, you just went up to my soul, opened the blinds, and looked into my soul, bro. Uh, if Mike Shaw listens to this, Mike, you hear this? <laughs> Dude, that's the kind of shit I would send Mike like when we were writing New Lord shit. I would be yeah. like, like, do make this. Th- do this, but stupid. That's and that I'm telling you. Do this, like, but with a rap drum beat under it. That's mm. how that's literally how I write music. So we were the bro, same guy. You and me. Speaking my <laughs> you language. You take a thing, you play along to it, you make it stupid. Yes. You have, you have God Save Self Title. That's that's all you do. Dumb. <laughs> I'm but on you, purpose. Bro. On purpose. Right. So it's smart. And it makes. I was about Just to say like that Columbo. makes it smart. Exactly. Just like Columbo. I've been watching a lot of that lately. Have you? Yeah, because it showed up on a uh, the tube. You guys fuck with the Tubi app. I've been hearing about this Tubi. Tell me oh, about it. You don't know it, my friend. I I know mm-hmm. the I know the the very basic premise of it, but I I oh, it, I don't know. It feels like I like I know Dom. My buddy Dom Vargas watches Tubi. You might and I hear you that. Might, and I go, Dom, you're insane. Let me give you a a, a multitude of th- a spectrum of things you might find on Tubi. Hit you me. might find RoboCop three. Wow. You might find King of New York. Yeah. You might find The Godfather three. You might find Ghostbusters, the cartoon. Oh. You might find The Trial of the Incredible Hulk. Wow. You might find Columbo. <laughs> I think I definitely will. This shit Columbo. is all over the place. You so, feel me? Okay. What, what so is no, what's the, the premise of the it's app? It's just an app with stuff. It's just a free app with all free shit. Movies. Ads? Okay. It does have ads. I'm out. It does have ads. <laughs> I'm out. Brandon really? Gore, I'm sorry. You can't I'm sorry do it. for not watching your ads. No, I can't do it, man. Okay. I'll uh, if does it have a let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Does it have know. a four ninety nine? I believe it does have ad free version. I believe Soul. it does. He's I back got too many, I got too many apps, man. I got apps coming out of my too. fucking ears over here, bro. Yeah, but you I mean you could write them off. You write off them apps. You say Mind Force likes to watch movies together. I'm writing them off. I should. These are, yeah. They won't even let me use them at my job. The apps. Because of copyright what? laws. Yeah, it's so whack. Don't even get me started on it. You got to wheel the TV in on the old fucking bucket? No, I, I use I do something that the kids taught me with the hotspot, and the I, I make my phone do it. Airplane. I can't. I couldn't even explain it to you. I, I don't know. They do it. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Let me ask you this. The world's finding a lot about me tonight. This is great stuff, man. Yeah, this is good. Can't I'm use, loving it. Let me ask you this. You can't hear my dog, can you? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. No, not at all. It's a great gate on that thing. Don't worry. (laughs) Let me ask you this. Mind Force is playing. Mm -hmm. And just just for the record, I'm not trying to get you here because my answer is yes. Okay. (laughs) Do you encourage violence? Uh, Yeah, I'm. I'm, Oh, yeah. Big time. (laughs) Yeah, of course. I I mean, you got. I I, I can't. I I, beg for violence. I mean, I, 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 you know, I believe uh, the last show we, we played, I, I called for a stylistic expression of violence. It's gorgeous. Yeah, right? That's beautiful. Well said. Yeah. It's, it's an, not, it's, it's it is a martial art, you know? <laughs> like, There's break down what, that, what those words mean and tell me moshing isn't that, you know? Yeah. There's definitely an art to not getting knocked out. If you watch some of the best moshers, there's an art to like bouncing around. I don't know. I think it's true. Well, there it's kill or be killed, truly. Oh, it's worse and than the ever more, these days. It's really the more you embrace that, really, the safer Do, you're you, be. you think so? You think it's worse 100%. than ever? Yeah, and I'm. I, this is something like I like to put out there on the record because I mean, I I, I, I haven't been here forever, but been around a while. You know, I mean. I saw, I was at the satisfaction 
record release show for Hate Breed. I, I was at legendary all out war shows. I seen a lot of legendary shit. Mm -hmm. And I've been around a lot of scary shit. And yeah. um, I think when it comes to the moshing, mm -hmm. I think it's crazier now. And this is why. Hear, hear me out. Back then, only a couple of the craziest motherfuckers could get away with the way everyone is moshing now. Right? Uh. And back then, people were quicker to fight when they got hit. You know, now, if you fight when you got hit, you're an asshole. The whole show yeah, is throwing you're you like out. Kind of a, you're kind of a pussy. And like there are ways it was way scarier then, but yeah. not on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. I think the people were scarier at shows. And I think show like for like I think like someone would stab you in the venue more than in that way it was scarier. But when it comes to the actual moshing, yeah, I think it's more violent now. I also think it was scarier in um where the where the shows were. Like you had to follow a treasure map to some of these yeah. shows. And <laughs> I, I get leaving from the the car to the to the venue door, the parking lot almost getting robbed, stabbed. In that way, mm. it was way scarier where the shows were. But I mean, motherfuckers are just... Motherfuckers with pink hair are punching each other right in the fucking face. <laughs> killing each other. They're, they're not even killing each other these days. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's, it's the best thing ever. Yeah. It's the best thing ever. It is. I mean, it's like, why do, why do what we do if we don't want that? You know? That is... To the core of you, Colin, that is your ethos. It really is. Well, yeah, I don't yeah, know about you guys, but when I'm writing like a mosh part, like I'm envisioning the fucking warfare. It's it is it is a visual thing. You know? Every mosh part is a scientific it's a science project. Okay. That and there's not like writing an original mosh part now is so much harder than writing a, like an, a hook, you know? Yeah, well, of course. A chorus? Yeah. Oh, I agree, I agree. Done. Done, there's a chorus. That was it. I just wrote mm. one. Yeah. Mosh part that makes me feel something enough to visualize it in my mind. Mm. You got to see it. Oh, I, 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 look, I see. <laughs> do you ever see like specific scenes? I see like I will see something from a like a maybe it's some type of mesh of a video I saw and something I saw live. Like when I was writing the New Lord shit, I was picturing a lot of like specifically Japanese mosh pits. Mm. Oh, the fucking what's that one video? Something Mosh style two or whatever? I know the I don't know the name of it, but I know the <laughs> you know one what I'm talking about. It's like some of the shots are from low motherfuckers are spin kicking over yeah, the yeah, camera. Yeah. It's like the dudes in the pit. And it's crazy because, like, they're kind of Japanese. My experience in Japan is that they mosh very respectfully. Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah. It's like one guy at a time doing his thing, and then the next guy goes. It's like a, it's <laughs> yeah. like a break dance. Circle, but the, but know? the thing is, it kind it was more like that back then. Like, watch the videos; you'll see it for yourself. Yeah. Mm. The thing is, a lot of older guys they want to feel like their time was they were the craziest, this and that, but. I think the videos speak for themselves. Watch the videos, man. I remember yeah, there was a, early... a big one. Oh, I will say this. Set. I will say this. When it comes to stage diving, mm. that shit's whack now. Mm. It's bad. Motherfuckers need to YouTube All Out War, 25 to Life, At the Chance, Poughkeepsie, New York. Watch everything. <laughs> copy it. It's not that hard. Figure it out. Well, the thing so. that's crazy to me is it's people, getting don't, bad. people don't jump. Nah. They just run. Or they just step and, and fall. Yeah, and step. You got to fucking jump. Just do a little <laughs> leap. <laughs> and land on your back. In your I'm body. more likely to catch you if you if I can see you. If you got some hang time, I know you're not going to hit me as hard. Mm. I'm going for you if you do that. Most definitely. If, if you just fall on me, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Get off me. You know? yeah. but, it's but a flight is, is like, I feel like it's a... Uh, there's the momentum is different. I can I can safely escort you. You to can the kind of yeah. You know? It's like catching a heavy whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I got you. I remember Falling? a very early, early in my hardcore life, uh, there was like a 
I think it was an American Nightmare video of like a dude in a varsity jacket, like floor punching to a part mm. in, in, in a song. And another guy like grabbed him to like stop him. And I remember I had this, con- this like preconceived idea when I first started going to shows that like you were g- trying to get away with something before someone else got you. And it was this, it was That's very- the Joe Harcourt system of ethics there. He'll fucking get you, man. Dude. We were talking about it earlier, and I almost brought it up. Three seconds. What? That's all you get on the stage. Three seconds. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there, it, it's there's video proof of this. The killer was playing "This Is Hardcore" at the old venue before they they went to the Electric Factory, and I and I was moshing. Um, I, I forget what song it was, but Joe was doing like spin kicks, like in a loop, like exactly what you were talking about Legend. in the video. He spin kicks me in my baby blue shirt flat over, and then in the same move, picks me up. He's a pro. That's hard. <laughs> like, He's a in pro. one He's minute, a legend. I just... Legendary spin kicker, for sure. Mount, style. Mount Rushmore? Style, capital letters. That's what I love uh-huh. about Joe. He's got style, man. That's what's... Right. That's missing from Mashing today. Style. A little, a little too much emphasis on violence and style goes. You can have both. You can mm. absolutely have both. The, the you most have both. psycho moshers, in my opinion, the guys that I thought were the craziest, had the most style. Man, it was amazing. Who are they? Give, so, me, give me, give me a name. Uh, well, they're 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 local guys. You want to know them? This dude Caesar, the singer of this band, Beneath the Remains. Mm-hmm. He, I mean, he was amazing. Uh, yo. You ever see videos of Chaka from Burn back in the day? He was actually fit? yes, bro. He's a spin kick pioneer. Wow, wow. He's one of the first to bring wow. that to the dance floor. I mean, I know he's the reason why the oldest guys in the Hudson Valley started doing it. And I heard once, I don't know if this is true, uh, because side note, I'm like really into like my style history. Oh, you know I, mean, I mean, that's I think hard it's, lore. I think it's fascinating. That's, you know, it what is I mean? absolutely hard lore. That's what we're. Yeah, we're all and talking. I had heard that the first, the first people to bring spin kick into New York City were from Boston. Mm. Wow! And then a bunch of people from New York City started doing it. Yeah, I, I, wonder, I, I heard it was the Wrecking Crew, the rec, whoever the Wrecking Crew masters. Wow! I don't so know if it's true. Please confirm for us. Yeah. I wonder. This is just what I've heard. I don't know if it's true or not. I wonder where that came from in the first place. Like, who was the first guy at a at a punk rock? A I think. Show? I think it was to the. This is my theory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the first spin kick was to the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, it was fucking. <laughs> she's so heavy, or something. And, and that's a hard was just part, like, bro. Yo, bow, I know, bow, but some bow, guy was. Bow, 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 bow. That's what I'm saying. And some guy was just like, I. <laughs> I feel something. I feel like. Why do I want to just... do fake karate? Right yeah. Now? yeah. That's my theory. I would love to know who the, the first guy to spin kick on a show was. That's a, I've never really thought about that. Beatles didn't play shows the second half of their career. <laughs> it can't be true. That first half, though, <laughs> you tell me some girl wasn't so fired up to see John that she didn't spin kick. I'm, I, I would pro- bet my life savings on it. <laughs> At least yeah, little, some kind of kick. Some <laughs> something. front. Maybe the back kick. Maybe that's where that came from. Because mm. I know the, the story of like, like Rollins talks about it in the one in the American Hardcore documentary where like everyone in DC was kind of just pogoing and then they all went to like California and then came back and it was like a stylistic change where it was like punching <laughs> and like okay. actual violence. That's right. I love that kind violence. of thing. Violence. Yeah. A uh, little Greg EGH. Fucking King dude. King of Masha. The thing is that I seen him a lot back in the day because he was always up by us. So we were always down there because um, you guys ever get into it's another not known band. You'd have to find it on Bandcamp or YouTube. This band called Eye to Eye. No. Uh, well, they were they were part of that whole squad. And um, 
they're the they're the one band that nobody knows about now. Like a lot of those bands have gotten bigger now. Billy Club, mm-hmm. everybody gets hurt. I rate. Mm. Um, you know, all those bands, but another band that was in that whole crew was this band Eye to Eye, but they were from the Hudson Valley. And um, they were always playing with those bands, and I was always seeing those guys. But there were some guys by us that, in my opinion, were just as legendary. I mean, the first dudes I ever, I ever saw wearing gloves was were these, these two dudes, Matty Campbell and this other dude, Sean Mesler. And they were doing like crazy fucking crazy spin kicks into the crowd with gloves on and shit. And I was mm. like, yo, that's the coolest shit I've ever seen, you know? Yeah. Pardon this interruption, but I believe you know what time it is. It's Manscaped time. <laughs> Let's tell them what we got today, Bo. We got the all new beard trimmer. Some might say the master killer of male grooming product. <sighs> got me. This bad boy has a million settings so many settings so many more settings than the average trimmer which only goes zero to five this one and think about it you got to carry them all true all the little bits and shit this guy just stays on and you just just like the barbers at the shop with the music and the quartets Mm. that you could have that at home now it's basically what we're saying with code hardlore 20 percent off free shipping they got the lawn mower 4.0 the the go-to the the goat to. You you mowed your lawn recently? Today, but that's none of your <laughs> business. Uh, my favorite is the crop reviver. You just spray them. And look you at got that shorts on. Wow. Um, the the beard trimmer came with all these little bells and whistles too. Beard so oil, whistles, so balm, yeah. Shampoo, conditioner, yeah. brushes. You I'll can get what, that I- VIP package and so much mm-hmm. more with code Hardlore twenty percent yeah. off and free shipping. It's also whatnot time, but let's talk about whatnot real quick. Let's talk about it. I've I'm, been dying to talk about it. Click the link below. Join us. We're going to be putting some good stuff up there. What are we thinking? What are you thinking? Maybe a t-shirt? Oh, oh, Maybe five t-shirts. That's what I'm saying. Is like we can, we can do some hard lore mm-hmm. for specific items that we have. Mm-hmm. I love that. And then the people get to have them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a guitar on there. I'm wow. Not that. I'm not. That, <laughs> that will fly. Let's see what let's see what it was described to me as. This is this is a good description. Descri- we describe it as cameo what meets eBay. Cam- right. But they like to say the most interactive place online to buy and sell hardcore vinyl records and music memorabilia. Back to the episode. You know who comes to mind for me actually, Colin? Chris Morrissey, the elder, the the Santa, the Santa. He, he so good that pre so good pre washing. Santa Mosh, you know, like. But it, but then he was immortalized forever. By that's the guy in the Santa Mosh video. Yeah, yeah, you guys know him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Chicago. Wow, man, shout out. He was one of the brother first, of like, a friend of the sh- of of, uh, yeah. of t- several friends of the show. <laughs> it's he a legend. One of, that's a he legend. He was one of the first guys I saw like two step. One of the first guys. I he he was like a pit for every band kind of guy very sick god i would i would kill to have that endurance back oh um but yo there's a lot of legends today too agreed you know a lot of legends today they're out there they're out there doing doing the work you know and then they start bands and they're the best bands ever you know best monsters are the best singers that's in my opinion that's what i think that's what i'm saying get off the mic if you can't spin kick that's right if if, (laughs) yo that's that's if you want to start a band and you're young and you don't know who to get for a singer, ask the craziest masher. That's right. You're gonna you'll be the best. You'll be fine. He'll he'll dial in his voice. It'll take time, but it'll be sick eventually. You know, you got moshing it. indicates rhythm. Good moshing indicates mm. rhythm. And knowing rhythm the part. is half the battle. Knowing the, knowing the part that makes people want to mosh. Exactly. Mm. They, they have an indicate. They they have the, the, the banger scanner is on. <laughs> you know, yeah, well on. said, Bo. That's true. Yeah. Beautifully said, Bo. Hmm. God, Bo, Bo, Bo. You believe in ghosts? Yeah. I don't not believe. Okay. That's but, kind of where I'm at. You know, okay. I used to think I saw a ghost. Hey, um, man. And now I'm not so sure I have. I, I wonder okay. if it was a type of sleep deprivation happening to me. 
I mean, I, I, I'll share the story if you want. Yeah, I want you do. to believe. <laughs> I, I want to believe. Okay. That's the thing. It's like, if, uh, yeah. I'm that dude that's like, oh, there's a ghost in there? Let's let's go in there. Let's, where's this yeah, ghost yeah. at? You yeah, know? same. Yes. So, um, uh, this, uh, I, you know, the story's a little weird, but when I was a little kid, I don't know, maybe five, I could be getting that age wrong because I was so s- small. Sure. I was going through a traumatic time, you know, not to get heavy or anything, but my, mm. my brother was dying at the time. He was in the hospital. Mm. So that's also like from what I've learned about sleep deprivation and traumatic time periods is also why I'm questioning what I saw. Okay. You know, but um, I saw this figure in the window next to my bed. Uh, it was a shadowy figure. And it had a, a hat that had like a long, he had a long hat that went up and he had like two long brims that went like this. Like, like it was like a man with a hat, right? Mm. That's scary. And um, <laughs> yeah. it was like something that like scared, I lived like in fear of my whole life. Like it, it really traumatized me. Like I can mm. remember calling my, my nana in, my nanny in to come and see me and, um, I was even scared to tell her what I would see because I even knew at that little age that she wanted what I saw couldn't be real, you know. Right. And um, yeah, something I didn't I didn't really share with a lot of people. Only my parents really and a few other people I met. And then, like maybe seven years ago, I watched this sleep deprivation documentary on Netflix. Have you guys seen it? No. Oh, you gotta watch it. Okay. This shit is frightening, dude. Wow. Shit is frightening. Um, and bro, what I saw, I started watching this, and then all of a sudden, this movie starts unfolding, and they start showing this stuff. Bro, oh, I'm getting chills just thinking of it. <laughs> they showed what I saw. Like, all right, exactly? Yes, they showed what wow. I saw, and like, I freaked out. And they went on to explain Whoa. people that have sleep deprivation share seeing these shapes. Like one of the things is you hear about the person looking at you. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Yeah, yeah. People will see the guy in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one is. What do they call him? There's a name for him. Like, like the, the hat man. Yeah, yeah. Or the hat man. That's what it is. The what man? The hat man. Is this, so it's the hat man is what you saw. The hat man is who oh, I saw. Oh, wow. shit. So check it out. Another one, some people will like see somebody's sitting on them sometimes yeah sometimes yeah. people will see a face but the thing is all people see one of these things multiple people share seeing the hat man now the bow school of thought thinks that some type of phenomenon of sleep deprivation that is the same if you think about it people dream about the same things you know what I mean? Have you ever dreamt this man? You know, that that's very or, or so, have you ever dreamt going to school naked? And then yeah, there's you true. know, there's like another school do. of thought that thinks, you know, it could be an entity from another dimension. He's fighting to get Coming in to he can see only all get these in people. when you're when you're a little bit sweepy. Um you know? but uh <laughs> yeah, man, that the shit the, it was frightening and I did see that. Um I, I think watching that documentary and seeing a thing that you've held on to since you were a kid. That would like fuck me up. How would you feel? Would you feel? Bro, like, would you believe a little bit, bro? Yeah, but it would. It would just be so shocking. It it. The hair on my back of my neck stood up, bro. Wow. The only people I had told about it because I tried. I can't tell anyone because people people won't believe me. I I, I didn't yeah. tell it. The only people I, that know this happened to me were my parents, so they were the ones I yeah. called up. Right. I said, you remember the fucking guy I used to be scared of with the hat? I said, you need to watch this. And they were just wow. like, this is crazy. Because they and remembered, it, did they remember vividly like you describing I it? I talked about it forever. I had nightmares for 10 years after seeing it. I had, it really, wow. it really, really scared me seeing it. And also, you wow. know, it was it was a crazy time in my life. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Sure. It was a crazy time. I, you know, I, I lost my brother and shit. Mm. Condolences. And uh, oh. thanks. And, uh, you know, so... But from what I've read about trauma and sleep deprivation, 
you know, the, 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 the skeptic in me just sides there. I'm not sure what I saw. I, I think I was just. But like a, an identical match to a thing you see, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a silhouette of a guy with a hat. You, if, if, you, if you Google sleep deprivation, man I know, with it, hat, But it's like so it. universal that how I, I, like, I see no room for skepticism. You know, I mean, listen, man, the older I get, the more I start to believe shit. I don't know what it is. Like, mm. I've never been a God guy. You know, I, I grew up in a very or, or uh, I, I shouldn't say that. I, I grew up very traditionally Roman Catholic. Some of yeah. the some of the uh, rituals I like, but I've never been like a God you guy fuck with the, the wafer. You like that thing? With the, with this, the, the uh, not really. I don't like it. No, not really. I never had it. That shit uh, sucks, man. I always wanted it. They got them on Amazon. It's tasteless. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, yeah there's yeah. no flavor. Fuck yeah. the wafer. Give me the wine, bro. The wine. Even that's that what now is like all grape juice. Jay, I was I, I was an altar boy. I got caught drinking the <laughs> wine once. <laughs> if I pull this on screen, this picture of of the guy in the hat is it gonna bother you. No, 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 I, no, right. no. Just making Thank, sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's see him. That's it. See yeah, I seen it. Really? Right there. Hold on, right there. Right here. Yeah. That's him. This guy? That's the one you just pointed on. That's exactly what I saw on my window. Woo! I mean, that's scary. Much like is. Alec Baldwin's The Shadow. You know? Totally. <laughs> good, yo, good film, Great bro. Good movie. Good film. Saw it in the St- movies as a little uh, kid. Groundbreaking '90s CGI, you know. It's got that the big snaz, yeah, that big yeah, nose right. that grows. That's right. Yeah, man. Love that. Why? <laughs> you know, why <laughs> why yeah. does he get a big nose? Man? You know, what I was he becomes of Italian out of nowhere. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, Billy Zane's The Phantom. Oh, that's a good one Remember too. The Phantom. You know what else I would put to 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 finish that trilogy out? The Rocketeer. The Rocketeer is incredible. I love the Rocketeer. Fuck Rocketeer. Yeah. The Rocketeer. The Phantom. <laughs> Yeah, man. The '90s like radio show superhero trilogy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the shadow drove <laughs> up in a in a car. <gasps> Yo, you want to hear something crazy, man? Growing up, my dad had his dad's like audio cassettes of those radio versions. And growing up, I, I would listen to them with my dad. So like, when that movie came out, I was like the only kid in school who actually knew who the shadow was. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Damn. That's like, what? Those were before their time, you know. Because people, I do that now. I listen to listen to my stories, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were podcasts, man. That's all. They were just podcast. We're just doing the shadow. That's yeah. what Harvey's doing. Where's our noses? Well, Dude, my, my, mine's exactly. pretty crooked and it's kind of long. <laughs> my dad and I would listen to fucking Bill Cosby stand up. Wow. That which was, at that the was, time uh, was delightful. It was you know, family friendly, very family friendly, clean. Very Stand clean. Up. Little did you know. Little did anyone know, apparently. I'm not going there. Yeah, we don't need to go there. I, ne- I never right. owned the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> himself, right? Bill Cosby right. himself. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just pretty good, man. It was. it was devastating to me as a as a Jello fan. You know, mm. it was devastating to me as a user of the slang term Cosby sweater. Cosby sweater is. You can still... I cannot say that anymore. Man. It's just. Oh wow! It's, I never even thought it's about like that. wife beater, you know. Though. It's mm. like just as dark as that, dude. Which I've funny. said, I've said wife beater on stage a few times, and um, luckily I didn't get in trouble. But all you I remember meant- face cast. No, what's that? Don't look what's that? Fat. Yo, face cast the band with the song wife beater. <laughs> I'm the wife beater. <laughs> I not nah, I'm wearing one. I am no no one? no like I am the wife beater. I'm pretty sure they're upstate. <laughs> I don't New know York. this. Damn, we're putting face cast over. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> There's a music video. I swear to God, this is real. Dude, not I always... like I'm, w- I'm wearing a wife beater. No, I the guy, the he beater. is the wife beater. Holy oh, shit. God. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, I grew up that's not thinking cool, that man. wife beater was derogatory, as in calling the people who wore just wife beaters, like wife beaters. Like, I grew up to know that as like a derogatory thing. I grew up in a place where there weren't a lot of Italian Americans, or like people who would wear them who weren't necessarily wife beaters. It is was that like, not what the? It was like white trash people. No, the, the same as like know, trailer this, park. The same for me. I mean, I, I grew up in an Italian American family, but nobody in my family wore wife beaters. Yeah, but what are you trying to say, man? But 
All the white trash people did, bro. It was no, the no, same no, 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 what, <laughs> no. What are you talking about? <laughs> fucking Tony Soprano wears them all yeah, yeah. in every fucking episode. Yeah, I didn't grow up around people with white beaters. I don't no, know he any does. Italian. He does, but like, well, because what's yeah, the yeah. other name for him? Undershirt. I don't no, know. Uh, what's the third name for him? Tank top. I you literally call- only know white beater. Real? Oh, so this is interesting. What's the fourth name then? Uh, <laughs> listen, my family's part Italian. I can say this. It was Dago Tease. <laughs> Holy shit. That was the other name for him. And we would say that. So that's an interesting difference in <laughs> culture cultures there. That's crazy. And like calling him a Dago wasn't a big deal. That's what that's what the shirt was. We I never mean, called I, I him, never heard never that, called but, him undershirts but, you know. ever. I'm going to start calling them honky tops. You know, <laughs> taking them back. I'm going to start calling them Dago Tees. Dago You tees. really never heard of that? Honky I never top. have. I never have. But, you know. Nobody ever wanted to say it to you. <laughs> I always look, heard what wife, wife Peter. If, wife you, Peter. if you look up Dago T on Google, the first thing is, is a I bet very is. buff Italian-American Well, guy. if you look up face cast the wife beater, I bet you'll see something else, too. But don't worry, they're going to see it plenty because I'm putting it in here. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I think they're from Troy. Really? I am yeah. the wife beater. That's crazy. Face cast band. Is that on Spotify? Today's awful metal video is HXC Titans face cast with the song Wife Beater. Oh. <sighs> Facecast re- refers to themselves as a comedy hardcore band. So they were doing a bit. Oh, okay. They're doing a bit. Okay. They're doing okay. a bit. Okay. They I mean, weren't like sense. proudly beating their wife. That's what I thought. It was a bit. Man. Crazy bit. Albany. Crazy bit. Yeah. Quite yeah. One eight. People got they crazy did. then. They really did. People got crazy. So what true. Was, um, what was the one, re- like, the one really well known comedy hardcore band? Good, clean, fun. Good, clean, fun. That's right. <sighs> I have Speaking a, of darkest era, if I yeah, <laughs> Dude. Oh, I have a hard oh, time man. with that, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying to think if I like any funny. I like fun Dude. things, fun hardcore. Like I'm in this band, Out for Justice. We're kind of like fun, right? But not funny. You know what I mean? Dude, I don't know if that makes sense. I've said many times, and Colin is the opposite. But I have no time in my life for musical comedy whatsoever. I'm not gonna ever listen See, to but Weird, Weird Al. Al is the goat. I'm, I'm yeah. not gonna listen to it. See, I'm I, a, I know you fuck with Weird Al. Oh, uh, yeah. most definitely. See, I'm a hypocrite, yeah. bro, because uh, I don't okay. like it in hardcore. But ah, I will fucking I, put the Lonely Island album right in my car, <laughs> my man, and I will sing it very loudly. I God. will say there's a difference. Uh, I especially don't have room for it in hardcore. You, you know what I mean? It's just yeah, there's yeah, something yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, with yeah. I don't know why I just trying to think if i like it in metal i don't know if i i don't think i no uh, i'm not are you at home listening to fucking death clock you know yeah i don't mm. even know what that is yeah exactly mm. but lonely island ah uh. those are songs <laughs> those are incredible songs that happen to be funny about, about to say those are great songs it's like like just are, well-written songs. are all of I'll, his songs spoofs lonely island I'm just saying in general. I, I literally only know like Amish Paradise and Fat. That's so for Weird Al, he has non spoof songs that he plays on tour, but I don't think those go over as well. <laughs> we want to hear mm. Fat, you know? We want to hear yeah. all the other ones. And you know what? Some of the, you know, some of the hip hop I listen to, some of the lyrics, I don't know if they're silly, but they make me laugh. They're, f- I mean, they're fun. Some they're of the fun, shit is you know? so crazy that it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, this mm. is one of my favorite musicians this dude rock marciano he says crazy shit man hilarious shit like just well, that's, check it out what's the real difference there you know mm. he, he knows well, it's funny oh he's he, he's probably cracking up writing it dude exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. they know it's funny <laughs> that's a funny thought funny's funny weird al very funny good clean fun and I you know i i tell you bo i'm definitely a hypocrite because there's some funny Fun stuff on Pillars of Ivory. Uh, so why is that different though? I don't know. I, I view that differently. It just yeah. feels more self-aware, you know. I don't right, know. because you're not you're not like you're doing a bit, but you're not like really doing a bit. 
No, yeah, yeah, that, that's a you good know way what to I mean. Put it. No, yeah. it's real. You mean everything you're like... saying, but it and it just happens to be. Fun. Yeah, well, I yes. mean, we were really high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, you know? exactly. So. Is that how special is that for you doing a band with Aaron? Oh man, I'm. It's like playing basketball with Michael Jordan, man. Amen. Mm. It's like first off, I mean death threat. I got a. Death Threat shirt on right now. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> I, I said last week on the show, Peace and Security is num- is the best hardcore record from 2000 to 2010. Okay. Okay. I think Dead, of, that- Bir- I think Dead of Birth is the greatest hardcore song written of the 2000s. I love that. Ooh, I've said that. that oh, excuse me. I stole that from Mike Shaw. He said that first. But- I, had a, I had a take in the last episode where I said, uh, can't stop, won't stop, is the oh, best. Great the, song, the dude. best hardcore song of that era, because it gives you everything, and it's a minute and a half. I mean, it's like literally, the lyrics are scary, the lyrics are good, the music's good. It's got a breakdown, it's got a fast, it's got everything. It does. It gets it gets everything out. It it kind of follows the perfect yeah. mind force formula. It's a great length. About. I was just about to say it's great a great length. length. That's a great contender, Bo. It's that's respectable. That's my I gotta word. stick with Dead of Birth for me. But Peace and security is, I, I think, is is like un, unmatched. It's between that and one with the underdogs, right? Yeah, for that era. One hundred percent. That's. Are you a is peace and security your favorite death threat? Oh yeah. Okay. I love last days and shit. I'm a last days guy, man. I can't help it. I love last days. You don't need to help it. That's the thing that you could do. They both are there for us. I love them all. I fuck with it all. But doing doing that with Aaron, man. Yeah, I was just gonna say, watching you guys. Here's a good example of what we were talking about of like yeah, yeah. the fun, the fun shit. Mm-hmm. Watching you guys at Sound and Fury, yeah, we as had somebody who would, I'd never seen you, <laughs> I, and as like an edge guy, mm-hmm. I was having a fucking blast. Watching Yo, dude, that. straight edge dudes it's, are it's our biggest fans. Fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you get high, so we don't have to. You know? no, <laughs> What's the, no the problem? Where the soldier is taking all the like bullets and arrows <laughs> and stuff where the, yeah. the, the kid is sleeping. That's you guys for us. And then we, me, Bo, and I are asleep. We just sound asleep. That's beautiful, though. I know you're just as big of a piece in, pizza enthusiast as as Aaron as as I am. I was just at Aaron's spot this past weekend. How was how, how was, was it? it? Fucking popping, dude. Really? Like, was it popping? He has. First off, wow. He can accommodate anybody. Wow. Like you can show up with your vegan friends, anybody. And also too, Aaron, the same way we have years of experience writing mosh parts, mm-hmm. Aaron has years of experience experimenting and creating pizza yeah. all over the world. In New York City, in LA, all over, man. And he he like right before he even opened this pizza place, he did a tour of the, all the different pizzas in Italy to find new recipes and shit. Like that's not like, that's real deal. Like this dude yeah. went to Italy and did tasting of all these different Italian pizzas and tried to bring this home and bring it to the Hudson Valley. I, and, uh, I, I, there's a Roberta's here now. Okay. That's his, that's his OG spot. Yeah. yeah Which right, I, right. I, I asked for his recipe there and they made it for me. The, mm. the, I think it's the three Kings or the three emperors or something it's called. He showed me some crazy. He, he showed me a few from there. He showed me some of my favorite pizzas from there. You ever have the carbonara pizza? No, mm. bro. I'll go today. I don't care. <laughs> uh, talking to you about this, like I just wish you could be here tomorrow and I could just take you on a tour. <laughs> I know. Mm. We'll, we'll, uh, so we'll, Aaron, we'll pencil Aaron, in. when Aaron moved to the Hudson Valley area a few years ago. He brought me to a place that somebody he worked with at Roberta's had started in mm-hmm. Amina, New York. And they, he, he had me try two pies there. Tootsie Girl, no. Can somebody get Tootsie out of here? Tootsie, not now. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're talking. We're talking pizza. Pies. I know so, you're hungry. She too. heard the word. She heard the word. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, the two pies I had was the carbonara pizza, which is like a carbonara sauce but pizza version instead of oh, tomato yeah. sauce you got egg yolk mm-hmm. like yeah. to make this you, you crack the egg yolk in a plastic bag poke it and put it on Whoa. like sauce does it bake with the carbonara sauce or is that kind of put on at the you end? put you put the egg yolk on after nice. but there's there's a few other ingredients 
just look up the ingredients that are out there. Soul. Or just hit up Aaron on Instagram or whatever. Is it really he'll, he'll, he'll peppery? Back. Yeah. There's yeah. it's it's very peppery. And Good. and and it's Cacho Pepe. It's um there's a meat on there too. I can't remember what meat he puts on there. But the other pie, besides the carbonara pie that he showed me, you'll you'll see it a few a, a bunch of places, and you'll hear it called either the bee sting. Some people mm -hmm. call it um, the heartthrob. See the bee sting I had at, mm. at Roberta's as well. Okay, incredible. Is it hot honey? Yeah, that's the one. But that's a Roberta's uh, recipe. That's that's the yeah. It's it's the hot honey, and I think it's the hot. Super setter or the um, hot pepperoni. I'm not sure. Some people mm -hmm. use different things, right. but yeah, it's the sweet hot hot. It's the sweet and hotness. It's it's crazy, man. Getting yeah. into spicy foods within the last few years and then discovering hot honey pizza like blew my mind. I can't do a whole pie of it. I'll be honest. No, no, I got to split it with someone and get something. Yeah, yeah. I Even agree. like a personal joint, Colin. I could do a personal one, okay. but that's just so that's that's such a, that's so rare of an experience for me. I, I could eat. <laughs> I need, I, yo, let me tell you. Don't let the skinniness fool you, my friend. I, oh, I don't, I don't, I, I have to, I, I'm literally on a doctor's diet right now because of what a pig slob I've been. Really? For, oh, <laughs> dude. I, I, Welcome. I've been having to be fucking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't end in a good place. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Mm. I see. But I mean, I'm I'm a harsh version. Like, do you eat vegetables? Barely, dude. Bro, the, you know that you know the lettuce and then Big Macs. Bro, my <laughs> wife sent me to get lettuce the other day. I didn't know how to buy it. Wow. Like, I didn't even know. Like, I try to tell Which people one did you like get? I, I know. I got um. Spring mix or something. Romaine, <laughs> romaine, babe. Classic. <laughs> Romaine's great. Yeah, romaine. Yeah. Romaine's classic. And, they always uh, got them E. coli outbreaks. Though. I still, though, even though I'm eating healthier now, I'm not fucking with lettuce, man. Lettuce isn't for me. Lettuce sucks. It's just water. I fuck with, like, spinach and shit like that. See, I don't like spinach. I like, I'd take a spring mix over a spinach. Dude, cooked day. spinach is one of the worst things. It's the worst the food ever. Yeah, all, it's terrible. But all I've eaten my whole life is pasta, wow. different type of breads, meats, <laughs> and fast food. You are mm. blessed, genetically. <laughs> Well, yeah, see, that, that's the thing, bro, is I'm thinking, oh, I'm not I'm healthy like this right. because I'm not gaining any weight. Uh, and uh, it's been it's like it's 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 it's, it's starting to like cause injuries with me and shit. Like my body's mm -hmm. so inflamed from eating so poorly my whole life that I'm as I get older. I'm I'm getting injuries a lot quicker because of my diet. Uh, they think you got to do that. That's one do. thing, you know. There's a whole bunch of factors, stress, all that shit. But sure, Colin's I, method is genius. What's his what? method? He works out like a fucking maniac and yeah. takes care of himself sure. so that he can then be a slob. I'm, I'm falling off, bro. I work out oh, like really? a motherfucker, but I'm telling you, man. Like, man, getting old is a bitch. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'll leave it at Fair that. Enough. They got. I, 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 for the past two months, I've been eating gluten free. Oh. Yo, it's dude, my, my wife's rough, on it. dude. It's miserable. miserable. It's rough. I have two cheat days a month where I just fucking go insane. <laughs> but um, I, I got to keep doing it because I feel they got I feel better pizza now. Oh, you feel better, dude. You, you know, know? Oh. if you feel yeah, better, that's yo, that's it. The only the only the only person that has made gluten free pizza that has been good is Aaron. There you go. The only one. How Every far are you from from Tommy B's? Forty minutes. Holy okay. my goodness! All right, so that's a trek if you want to. I mean, you know, when you're living in the Hudson Valley, that's really not that far, man. Things are far apart in the Hudson okay. Valley. Everything's forty minutes. Kinda. <laughs> okay. Yeah, kinda. Everything's forty <laughs> minutes. It's a lot of forest out here, man. Mm. Right. Oh, mm. Gorgeous. Yeah, oh, I bet. What's your favorite style of pizza? Mm. You, you're, you're, uh, your two days are coming up. I like your classic New York or your Neapolitan. Mm -hmm. I love a Neapolitan. That's probably my favorite. Neapolitan is your favorite? Probably, yeah. Wow. It's just so easy to make them without love, you know? Mm. The thing was... Because they're, they're the, the, you can make them... Like I, We could make them at home, and it's not mm. going to be the same. What mm -hmm. I love about them is the same thing I love about hay food. It's so simple. Yeah. 
But if the guy making it is using the right ingredients, it's the best shit ever. Wow. I got no counter argument. Yeah. That's the you thing just, is you can have Neapolitan. A lot of places you go, like there's all these spots in Brooklyn now. Every other fucking block's got a yeah. Neapolitan spot. That's my problem. And it's it's you the know? same thing. And it, none of it's bad. No. But, bro, my friends, I could take you to Posto Pizzeria in Rhinebeck, New York. You'll never be the same again. <laughs> okay. I want to never be the same. You will never be the same <laughs> want, again. It's, it's to rare change. to experience that with a Neapolitan pie. Because those are, that's probably my favorite pizza of all time, my favorite place. And, you know, it's, I'm not saying it's the best. There yeah. is no best. Everybody that's has right. their favorites. That's right. Yeah. But that's my right. favorite is not in New York City. It's in the Hudson Valley, Posto. Do you think there's some like regional bias there though? You know, it's 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 it does it is it nostalgic? You tell well? me after you try it. I will. I will. <laughs> um, it's been let's book it's a been, gig in Hudson Valley. I'll yeah, be there. Yeah. It's um. There might be a little regional bias, but um. I'll let you know. I mean, it's 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 in the. I mean. Don't get me wrong. The city's got some great spots. Some of the best spots. Some of my favorite p- spots ever. Defara. You ever have that Defara. in Brooklyn? I haven't had Defara yet. It was too... Uh, Dude. I think it was too deep for us to go to, but we went to L&B. That's fucking good. <sighs> Did you go to any places in on Mulberry Street? In Manhattan? Little Italy? Uh, Manhattan. Probably all Brooklyn. Been, I, it was, we, we were mostly doing Brooklyn. It was like Joe's, uh, L and B. Joe's is fucking popping. There's a Joe's a on Mulberry Street. That's one of mm-hmm. my favorites. Um, it's like that's like movie New York pizza. You know, like oh, you know, you know you. what you want, and you know you're getting it every time. Definitely, you know? it's definitely consistent, but it's not gonna like. That's kind of my big problem with some of the New York pizza, mm-hmm. is that it's all the same. John's on Bleecker was kind of. Where else did you great. go? Where else did you go? Did John's you go? on Bleecker. Uh, La Industry was. Oh, I haven't the, been the to that standard. spot, bro. It's unbelievable. Really? Unbelievable. There's a place that the the like the local guys always. We've been like half a dozen times. I think it's like Little Anthony's mm. in Brooklyn. No, you're wait in Brooklyn. Yeah. You talking about Little Vincent's? Is on it Long Little Island? Vincent's? The cold cheese place? No. No, no, it's in mm. it's in Brooklyn for sure. How do you feel? How do you feel about the different pizza experiences? Are you down with them all? Because I am, man. I love pizza experiences. Absolutely, and yeah. the different regional styles. It's I'll like eat them three di- meals a day, three mm-hmm. three days a week. I tell yeah. you what's what's tied for me with Posto, and um, I can't I, as a um, a New York individual, I cannot say it's better. But, bro, Connecticut pizza. Mm. Miss Miss Sally and Mr. Frank Pepe have done something, you know. And who I mean, so who's yours out of the two? I'm a, I'm a Sally's man. Okay, a little little bit of a contrarian. But it's. <laughs> you think so? I think a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I, I think, think it's maybe a little now, bit. but it wasn't maybe always. Now, Sally was now. the OG, you know. To, from what I, from my perspective. Sally I was mean, like, I mean, you can't, I, you can't go wrong. It's, it's amazing. It's mm-hmm. amazing. I'm a, I'm a Frank Pepe's guy, but that's because it's what I had first. Sure. It's what and I have first. Probably the same for me. You know? I've come to a bit of a crossroads in my pizza journey where I'm, I think I'm done with like deep dish Chicago style shit. I'm just mm-hmm. kind of over a year. it in general. I like it. Know? It's good. Lumanati's is once a year is a good call, bro. Once, twice the a thing, year. So the thing is, so is, is, but friends come on tours. Mm, they, they come to town. They want it. They want to I go. mean, I'm gonna want it if I we play I'm, Chicago. I'm dying you're for gonna it. have to show me. Yeah, I mean, we got the places, and I know where it's good and it's great. But I'm just like Detroit style shit is right there. Oh. And how do you guys you feel Jets, about the Detroit style craze right now? It is. It's definitely. It's a fad. Definitely uh, a fad. It's a little much but, for me. Back off but, a little bit. But I agree. Yeah. Like, there's like twelve Detroit style places that just opened here. Mm-hmm. Two of them are genuinely great. Mm-hmm. I, I when Detroit style is done right, it's fucking unbelievable. 
Because you Crazy. get the the, the satisfying, crust. you get the satisfying bite that you get from Chicago style shit, the, the deep dish shit. But then it's like airy. Yeah. You don't mm. feel like garbage afterwards. When we go to Pequod's, I can only eat two slices. Yeah, that's it's it. a, it's a, that's a, you're, you're fucked up. I can demolish an eight corner. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. I, I, I refuse to not. Demolish <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit of a convert. It makes me sad as a Chicagoan. Do you guys make pizza at all? Fuck no, dude. Oh, if see, I'm gonna make it, shit. I want to. I want to make the I dough. Want that. If I want I'm gonna make that. it, and I'll send you my dough. grandmother's dough recipe. Mm. <laughs> I want Nona's recipe. <laughs> I um I need, I need and and and, and and what's cool about that is is um I don't make a lot at my house but the my few items my few dishes man, I got some I got some guff behind them like my my Sweet. French toast is pretty popping mm. nice. my pizza is off the chain but um <laughs> do you and Aaron's same- helped me so much even with that. Sure. Oh. You know, he's, do, we we do, made pizza together in my kitchen. It's fucking amazing. Is, the fam, is your pizza sauce different than your like family's centuries old marinara? Same. Same one. See, I use the, the Mike Cesario, the the original drummer of Twitching Tongues. Mm-hmm. His his family owns a, a, an Italian restaurant, and he gave me the he let me in. Mm. Bless his heart <laughs> on the Cesario family. <laughs> okay. Marinara. Years ago, and now it's like the only, if I eat something other than that, I'm I'm kind of having a bad time. So I do, I, and this, and a lot of people won't admit this. I do think there's some good sauces out there in the store. I think there's What's one the that's Rouse? good. Rouse, Rouse, that's Ray, the one. Yeah. Rails, Rails is good, man. <laughs> Their Rails, vodka sauce is dynamite, bro. It tastes Dynam- like the real thing. I don't know how the, how they do it. That's that's his restaurant. I really want to go to, but. You gotta like book it nine months ahead of time. Well, how they do it is the the jars are like eight bucks a pop, mm. and like a, a ragu is under three dollars. So they they just put better shit the into good it. Good shit in. time, yeah. But, you know. but how do you preserve like a real San Marzano tomato? You know? Yo, I just I just, just saw a thing on Instagram. I don't know what it was. It maybe like growing up Italian or some stupid shit like that. But they had like this famous Italian cook saying that he would prefer, if he was cooking in America, a fresh tomato from New Jersey rather than a San Marzano tomato. Really? Yeah. And the people... It, was he in like a gray suit? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the same thing. And like the hosts were like, wow, you're going they, crazy. They and, ask and, him. And he broke it down. He was like, scientifically, what that tomato went, you know, what that's going through in the aluminum, how long it hasn't been yeah. fresh. Yeah. And... um. So, you know, you can't always follow the law. Yeah. You got yeah. you, you to gotta try things out for yourself because wow. that's one of the things that I think makes uh, Posto, the place in the Hudson Valley that I go crazy over, so good. Those real Jersey. I don't know what is the, these tomatoes they're using are so fresh, bro. Mm. They're so fresh. I mean, that's everything. The Colin, dough, they, the dough, they, the, the dough and, the, and the, the sauce is really... Sorry, I didn't mean. Yeah. They they ask this dude, this Italian guy, like, what makes a San Marzano tomato like so influential, so popular, so blah blah. blah. And he says, because it's from San Marzano. Like, yeah, he says that's something all like is. the hype or something. It's yeah. like just the name. Wow, that's it. I mean, that's the only ones I buy. So should I stop? <laughs> no way, because they're still popping, motherfucker. Still fucking fucking great, good, but yeah. but I, I saw that same exact thing. Yeah, it is growing up Italian. That is that is what it's called. I'll check it out. I didn't get to grow up Italian, so maybe I could I could learn some stuff. Do uh, you see that? You see that post recently? The is hardcore safe for Italian people one. <laughs> that can't be fucking real, man. No. <laughs> it says I've been Italian for basically my whole life, and I always wanted to go to a hardcore show. <laughs> I'm not sure Italian people are welcome. Thanks again, Italian flag pasta emoji pizza. Emoji. <laughs> you think it's safe for Italian people? Hell yeah, it's safe for Italian people. We'll, fucking, we'll, we'll take care of anybody who makes it not safe. <laughs> you heard it here. Hardcore that shit is isn't safe real, man. No, it's that. not real. It's a bit. Well, let's do some questions, Colin. Well, I want. I, I got. A, I got. I got two questions for Jay. Let's hear. When when my force is playing, POI is playing. I'm having so much oh, fun. Good. What do you do? Yeah, well done. Oh shit! Like who? Okay. Who do you do? How many do I get? As many as you need, bro. Yeah, as many as you need. Typically, it's like two to three. I think I got like four. It's fine. I love it. 
Chaka from Burn. Wow. Eddie from Leeway. Mm. Yeah. Aaron from Death Threat. Mm. Aren't we all? <laughs> Raekwon from the Wu-Tang Clan. Wow. wow. Wild card, fourth pick. Either him or the dead dude I mentioned earlier, Rock Marciano. Hip hop has a big, big influence on um my live performance, I guess you could say. I would say that that shows. Mm-hmm. Um and my second question pertains to that because Okay. We did the Master Killer tier thing last week. Oh, I love that. All our records that we think are on tier. We didn't really get to talk about a lot of hip hop hip hop because we're just we're uneducated. Yep. What are the what are the hip hop master killer tier records, Jay? There's a I couple we, for me. What do we we said Illmatic and Illmatic Liquid, Liquid Swords, Liquid Swords. And, yeah. and back to It's weird. Did when you were doing the 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 master killer list, did you have any uh-huh. moments with certain bands where there were two albums where you're like this is kind of the master killer in society, but this is my favorite. Yeah. You did. So what's what converge, becomes your converge. master killer then? Is, do you and go that, with and this? that was no? We didn't really agree on the converge one. He said Jane Doe, and I think I think No Heroes is like the best collection of songs that they wrote. But he's asking even internally, Colin, if like, yeah, if you know that there's one that everyone thinks is the one, but you're kind of uh, what do you feel is? I think the, this is about us. All right, well then mm-hmm. I'm gonna surprise people. I'm I'm like notoriously, strangely a second album guy. Love I it. don't know what it is. Desperate Measures, my favorite Leeway record. It's it's that's that's the best one. Best Wishes, my favorite Chrome Mags record. Love it. Yeah, record skip, right? Love it. No, um, I, I I love the record. It's just yeah, that's that's a surprising thing to hear. Um, but I can hear that in yeah, in okay, your band definitely. You know? And uh, so my for me, my master killers, societies would be uh, you know thirty six chambers. Wu Tang. Mine would be Wu Tang Forever. Some mm-hmm. people hate it. I don't know. It's my favorite. A lot of people would say Illmatic by Nas. My favorite is It Was Written. Mm. It's the second one. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people would say Shook One's Mob Deep. I might go with murder music. You know what I mean? I'm not as much of a casual rap music listener. You know, I like a little bit of a deeper cut sometimes for sure. some choices. You- you like when they really find their own is like what that says to me is like most definitely. And a lot of those, you know, I'm a little younger. So a lot of those were the first ones I heard. I wasn't sure. there. You know, I was playing with he man or some shit when it came out. <laughs> but that's why I can comfortably agree with you on best wishes, desperate measures, etc. Because like mm. we, we can remove ourselves from the bias of, uh, of, of being there when these things came out and just say, hey, I'm looking at these from the perspective of mm. are the are the songs better? Yeah, that makes sense, man. And yeah. they are. Yeah. yeah. Especially with Desperate Measures. Well, Desperate Measures. It's not even close. I mean, Desperate Measures has Pokey on drums. Groove Master, bro. Groove Master. Groove Master. <laughs> hmm. I love yeah, I'm like, I, I love... I love Asia Quarrel. I love, I don't know where I'm going with this. No, go with it. Follow the road, brother. But it's not, it's about Brad Brain's quickness. Okay, because that's my shit, Brad Brain's See, I lo- I'm, an eye, I'm more of an eye against eye guy. Same. Okay. Quickness. Same. I'm a quickness I, I like, guy. Mackie's hmm. drumming is so wild on those. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's wild on quickness. I so, always forget that he played drums on those. It makes it makes the album so, it, it, it for cares. better or worse. It makes the album special in a way, ah, because Mac is on. way more raw. Where I guess I is like so dialed in. Yeah. Super, oh yeah. They sound so pro, mm-hmm. and I kind of like that. Mm-hmm. You know, we, but quickness is a little harder. Yo, which yeah. is sick. Quickness yeah. is the hard record in my opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quickness was the record. Like a lot of my favorite records are my favorite records because like. My favorite old head masher was like, yo, this one, motherfucker. That's everything I like. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, and that no was that for me. That was that for yeah. me. So, my whole life is that because I don't know if you know this story, but um, the, my brother grew up with Matt Grippo. Oh, no, he told me. Your brother told okay. me the story. Yeah. Yeah. And that's which like, is amazing, which is crazy, man. 
We're, we're part wild. of the same team, brother. I know. We're right there. And it's like truly this this would not be a thing without th- that insane like, chance. I, I'm just as much a Connecticut guy as I am a Hudson Valley guy. The Hudson Valley is right on the line, man. My first shows were in Connecticut before New York City. And hey, then you're talking about seeing the Satisfaction Valley. record release. And yeah, that shit was, was awesome. infamous. Infamous <laughs> night. Violent, sh- like the violent shows f- for fight reasons, like you said. Those those hybrid videos, there is it is nonstop. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna get into what I saw that night, but the lore is <laughs> out there. It's a very infamous okay. night. The show did not end. <laughs> okay, <laughs> understood. You got any? You got anything left for him, Bo? Before we get into uh, the, the the people's questions, I don't. Yeah. I've loved this conversation yeah so this far. is incredible stuff it's fun to talk about moshing so much isn't it the best <laughs> it's uh, the best so i live it's for just, it bro it's a, it's a here, dude. funny uh, th- you can't have that conversation with a lot of most people in your life you know oh. this is rare this is special uh favorite all at war record <sighs> this is weird for me bro i You're go all me. around man mm. let me look at my playlist right now so, mine, mine is truth in the age of lies. Hmm. I mean, that's probably, yeah, it's probably the probably my favorite. But dude, cr- cross of disbelief. Yo, come on! I've recently become a fucking crazy assassins in the house of God guy. Great record, bro. I never used to listen to it because my fucking dude doesn't play drums on it. You know what I mean? Right. Once I started That's listening crazy. to it, man, it's like has some of the best truth in the age of lies. Rip, you know why that shit is so good, bro? Because they got Big Jimbo back for it. Mm. He left before Kent condemned for suffer. They got Jose mm-hmm. from End of One on guitar. I mean, he's a big reason why that shit is fucking dope. Right. But then when when Big Jimbo came back for his house in the house of God, I feel like he brought back that flavor. Yeah, and in in between that, those dudes were doing a band called Through Blood Reborn. You guys ever hear of them? No, miss me. I'm sending it to you tonight. I'm gonna love it. It's the greatest Hudson Valley hardcore band. Ever. Wow, it's Dissolve and All Out War together. It's a super group. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 basically just All Out War with the singer of Dissolve. So it kind of cool. sounds like it's more like hardcore singer over All Out War stuff. Yeah, where it's just straight up like. Yeah, if a if the right person heard it, they'd be like, "Oh, this is a death metal band." Straight mm. up. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's very cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going with uh, truth in the age of lies. It's just like, but I fuck with a lot, bro. I yeah, fuck it's with all, all good. This. That's the thing, <laughs> dude. The Dying Gods EP. What? It's one of the best. They've been a band. That's twenty ever. year hard. Twenty years. How long have they been a band? 21, 22 years at that point. For me, that record, the into another record. And the Maximum Penalty record are the trilogy of ultimate comebacks. There's none better. I'm Which one you. is the Into Another record? Omens. Oh, dude, it's, it's good. good. Do you? I mean, it's if you don't fuck with them, you're not going to like it. No, I do. I do. I, I just dude. wasn't sure which one oh, is the hell like, yeah. Record. So you're on that higher level musical <laughs> shit. <laughs> hell yeah, man. It's unreal. That's my favorite album of 2022. The Omens record from 2000. So good. I, I talked to some people <laughs> that say it's one of their best records. Hmm. It's hard not to say it's their best collection of songs. It's really well put together, man. It's perfect. It's got it's got that little break in the middle, you know? Oh, it's great. It's great. Epic closer, big pits. I heard shit. some infamous lore about Into Another. And if you know if you know the Hudson Valley, Connecticut area, they have certain bands they love. Into Another is one. And I heard that the Into Another Pits were so violent in Connecticut that they would stop playing their songs and just start playing Two Snowflakes to try to stop it. Wow. Because it was these fucking maniacs just going off, dude. That's the thing. That's like like one of my favorite genres is of hardcore is Secret Thug. Do you know this? Are you familiar with this genre at all? Uh, this I, a, it's, a, now. It's, a, it's a term my twin Lumpy coined. Shout out to him. Secret Thug. He might say Mind Force is Secret Thug, but like lots of bands that don't seem totally hard, 
but they really are. Like, mm-hmm. cra- like Crown of Thorns. Yeah, it's the yeah. yeah oh, absolutely. it's the uh, if like your guitar player looks like this, you're about to die in the pit type of. We're just like a guy with glasses. You and got like, it. And for yeah. and and into another was a band like that in Connecticut. Wow. I heard it used to be insane for them. I, and like I said, I heard one time they were playing at the tuning or something, and they were getting so fed up with how violent it was getting. You know, where we'd be like, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> they just stopped and they were like. They started playing the acoustic stuff. Wow. It's crazy too. like that. That's a band that has like lore with them too, because like hearing stories about how rich he was like back in the day, like in the, in the youth crew shit. And like, it's just like, he was just like a monster <laughs> and was like, Oh yeah. 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 Like Beating the, motherfuckers up and shit. Right. Yeah. He was yeah, like, I, have, I don't know a lot about that. That's and crazy. He said, by the way, Wow! Yeah, yeah. You know, they're like the best singer of all time. But dude, always in like <clears throat> underdog. Like f- he was always in the coolest shit. It's a cool ass dude, man. Shout cool out dude, Richie. Cool bands. No, no skips basically across his entire <laughs> personal discog. Uh, favorite down. Air Max silhouette. That's a great question. Air Max one. One. Air Max one. Okay. Did you? They're re-releasing the OG Red Big Bubble, which is I got, which is I the, got two pairs of them, brother. Then you, I got, then, I got you one, then you know I got the fucking deal. Yeah, yeah. I'll, deal. I'll have it. I'll get a third. That's my that's my favorite. <laughs> the OG. That's my favorite sneaker of all time. The Air Max I, One. That's the a gray great, red colorway. Great, great answer. I, I thought I had them right here. Um, I go ninety-seven stylistically. I wish I could pull off a 98, man. I, I do 98s are one of my favorites, but they're not that comfortable kind of like they, the 97. They, no, the 97 is like a like there was a reason Jerry Seinfeld was rocking them motherfuckers yeah. back in the day, no. you know. You <laughs> know standing in them for 12 hours was you were going to be fine. Yeah, man. <laughs> Tom Cruise running through the park in that in that some bitch. Uh favorite sword? <laughs> Katana. Nice. Oh, strong. Nice, very nice. Katana. Um, Thurman Merman wants to know if you like cheese. I love this shit, man. Melted cheese yeah. might be the best food ever created. I'm with you. What? Isn't that crazy how that works? It's crazy. You put a little put a little heat on it. It's a completely different. You should, I wish you guys could too. see how my dog is just staring at me with a toy in his mouth like this. Just because you said cheese. Just will not. Just like play with me. <laughs> just will not accept that I'm doing this. Now. I can hear mine barking, begging for some love right now. So. Wow, we're at two hours. That's incredible. Melted cheese mm-hmm. is fucking incredible. That best food. Who did it first? You know? Mm. Who melted cheese? Who caramelized yeah, that, cheese? That's a, I mean, it's an Italian guy, right? A genius. Maybe in France? Yo, who ate cheese for the first time? Yeah, that's, that's a sick fuck. That, that's a sick <laughs> bastard, straight up. Who figured that out? I've thought about this with a lot of things. Even meat. Yeah, even meat. Even meat. meat like oysters. Somebody just being like, fuck. How the fuck did somebody oyster? smoke weed the first time? I know. Mm. Accident, maybe. Like, yo, that stuff that we lit on fire by accident? I did that read a joke. theory of how someone came up with figuring out how to plant a seed the first time. They think they might have urinated in a certain area or, like, noticed some urination or different types of hydration and noticed a change over time. But oh. I've never come down to how they figured out to smoke weed. It's all piss. Everything's piss. Everything's urination. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. I think the first joke ever was that when one time it was really cold outside and <laughs> some guy was probably like, look. <laughs> and his friends were like, holy fuck. That's incredible. Uh, most underrated New York hardcore band. Ooh. I mean, New York hardcore is pretty high rated all around. I feel like it I got to go deep cut. Yeah. yeah, you do. Go deep. It's I. You've said a lot of Hudson Valley. What, underrated city. Oh, the city, city of Poughkeepsie thing. is underrated in every way. No, no, no. Most underrated like NYC band rather oh. than because you said a lot of great Hudson. Oh, Valley I said too much. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Uh, Queens is my favorite borough. That's Love when it. it comes to music, hip hop, and hardcore. I'm gonna have to go with Cold Front. Great answer. 
if you like Lee, if you like the later leeway stuff that is a little more posty, not metal, like the more post hardcore type leeway shit, Cold Front is for you. And if you like Crown of Thorns, uh, mm. you'll love it. Mike Dijon joined Cold Front. He, he was the later Cold Front guitar player. There it is. Shout out to Mike yeah. Dijon. Love him. He's a uh, Mount Rushmore. Yep. Hardcore songwriter for me. One of those dudes who's the best hardcore guitar player, but also the best dude ever. I never met him. You don't you don't get that a lot. Oh, he's the he's the best never man. Lifelong fan. <laughs> Incredible. Right here. Big fan. Um favorite living laser story and what the future holds for POI. <laughs> we haven't talked about living living laser at all. Wow, favorite I did not expect to get asked favorite living laser story. That's cool. I'll tell you one. All right, let's hear it. I'll tell you one. I got some- living laser. Had I think the logo itself Mm -hmm. was the Angry Birds. Absolutely, absolutely, worst logo of all time. We (laughs) the Squishing Tongues did a shirt with that font on it by accident too. So we, you and I, (laughs) did you have that moment afterwards? We're like, fuck, this is the Angry Birds. Yes, just for years, you know. So I'm, you know, we got that. It's you're not alone. One of many appropriation. One of many (laughs) mistakes I've made throughout the years. Of writing music and making merch. <laughs> any other, any other, any uh, positive memories? Of Living Laser story, yeah. Living Laser. One time, we played a garage in Connecticut. We pulled up to the garage. At that time, it was very early in our careers. I hadn't played a lot of shows with Mike. I was driving separate. We go up the show. I stop Mike before we pull up to the driveway. And I say, Mike, we have to have an entrance. I made him roll down all the windows and blast the the, band, the diplomats. As we pull up, it's icy. It's 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 the icy is the the driveway is covered in ice. It's January in Connecticut. We're sliding. We're blasting diplomats. <laughs> we get out of the car. I kid you not. As we get out of the car, a dude just standing there looks at me and goes, "Dipset." and shoots a flamethrower. I don't know what, I don't know if it was a real flamethrower or just like a torch hooked up to a propane tank, but this dude had some type of household flamethrower. I came to find out later, he had it to melt all the ice in the driveway. Wow. Anyway, we play the show. It's one of the craziest shows I ever played in my life. Dude is shooting the flamethrower. In inside the garage, wow. the garage doors were up. People threw M80s up. The blast from the M80s broke all the glass in the garage doors. It was one of the scariest, <laughs> most frightening. And even me, and, I, and I'm I'm a never stop guy. I, I, yeah. I really, I, you know. You got close. I got close to stopping, bro. Mm. Now I now <laughs> I stop because I don't want to get canceled because it's something yeah. that happens. I just don't want to see a lifeless body, you know? That's like the one place I draw a line because that's where the that's where somebody yeah, yeah. can come up and be like, you have like here's the thing is I've been that lifeless body. I know, me too. <laughs> and I've been that me. lifeless body and they just dragged me out. And I'm yeah. not saying everybody has to go through that experience, but it's part of the. It's part of the. Fun. I, I'm not going to win any fans by. by no, no, but you know what? You said yourself that modern stuff is more violent. Yeah. Like we we, be... we were forced. We we stopped recently. We we played a show in Texas, hmm. and um, uh, I did not see this happen. But um, I believe I. I believe it was, I, I'm not positive, but I, I believe it was the infamous stage dive D- Jesus himself, the guy, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Fubu Man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm not sure, so please don't crucify me if I get this wrong, but I, be- I believe he got knocked. He, he was in a situation where this gentleman was out wow. bad. You know what I mean? I, wow. I like read, someone tweeted, like, they, they killed. Fubu man, like I, 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 I oh yeah, that. I think he got it. He Fubu got it. Man was out? I, I didn't know they yeah. killed him. Yeah. Right? Uh, there's a right. video of this. I'll, I'll send you. Okay. And um, 
the, the guys in my band were like looking at me like, yo, man, should we stop? And I was like, what the fuck? don't stop, you know, because yeah. some of my favorite memories were riots happening around me and all that war is just keeping it going. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's crazy experience, but I understand it's a different time and everything. Finally, people for, they like literally come up and catch the symbol. They stop us. And then everybody sees, and then I, and then I see that, you know, there's a man on the ground. And, that yellow jersey. And, you're like, and uh, <laughs> so you got to stop these days, but it's so much fun to play through a fucking fight, man. Through a, fight, through a fight, there's no Oh, stopping. I'm never stopping for a yeah, fight. Yeah, that's different. That's different because that, then it's like not only you know what you're doing. And, you know. And, like, fuck you. Like, we're playing. Yo, we rocked yeah. so hard that you yeah. started fighting. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. you ever, we'll uh, keep doing that, you know? You ever hear of people like I seen Bloodlet do this? They go right into Eye of the Tiger. Gah, there, yeah, there are gah, fights gah, on. Gah, 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 gah. Um, if they see a fight happen, they'll go straight from the rip. They'll look at each other and just go, God, 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 God. And it's just amazing. You get Eye of the Tiger over the whole fight. It's terror. What's Terror? Terror had one. Terror's fight song. I think they... It might be spit my rage. They might just all know to do. Really? That's pretty good. That's good. We if all got your get own track, fight right? song. Yeah, yeah. They're like they know where to come in if a, a, there's a situation, a fight situation. Genius. Genius. It is genius. They so are the ready, geniuses, you know? man. Yeah, they're. I mean, they are the 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 blueprint for just what to do, what you could be. Fucking kings. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> uh, when is Alpha Justice coming back? Oh, what do, you, what do you mean? Come back. We never left. That's we right. don't have to play That's a show right. to still be in the room. That's right. Mm. Damn. Right. Well, we're going to be what recording. Is- Me and Lumpy, we, we have plans for more Alpha Justice. We got some plans for some other stuff, too. Uh, you know, me and him are always doing shit. Um, there's going to be more Alpha Justice soon. Hopefully, it'll include a Scarhead cover. Hopefully it will include a scar cover. <laughs> I love that. You ever get this is a this is a, this is not related at all. Mm-hmm. You, you 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 like those box cutter records? I don't really know them that good, dude. What's the one? I think it's called Ghetto Story Part Two. That's a sick name. It's a sick <laughs> name, and the verse is just like. It goes. Oh, it, I need to listen, listen to, to Box Cutter. Dude. You gotta, you gotta check out. Box. It's it's Stickman and and Jotham singing. Oh, dude, I've heard of this band, but I've never heard them. Put on Ghetto Story Part Two. You're gonna love it. Is that on Spotify and shit? I, it sh- it ha- I'm, let's see. I oh, hope it shit. is. Oh <laughs> shit! I mean, I'm a big, I, I'm a big fan of Stickman stuff, so I'm sure I like it. Just had a yeah. tiff. Where were we driving? Oh no, that was Mike. That was from when we came home from uh, where were we? Seattle, Tacoma. When we came mm-hmm. home from there, it was a late, late night drive from Newark Airport home. And me and Mike just put on no reason to smile. <sighs> oh, <laughs> there's some master killer to your shit right there. That, that's an omission. That's on my part. not an album. You know, I was talking about how hate breed is in everything I do. And bro, listen to the Mind Force Mosh parts. In everything I do, as far as Mosh stuff, there is some of the Mosh part for every man to himself. Looking out for number one. You're right. Oh God, that's my, one of my favorite chug patterns ever, bro. That's very. They they, they were ahead of their time, dude. They 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 were. Uh... They're they're secret. They're not secret thugs. They're they're very. Uh, they're oh, they're not thugs. secret. Not secret. Secret musical geniuses. Oh, Ooh. most definitely. Incredible, unbelievable musicians. They used to play the Hudson Valley a lot back in the day because Jersey's right there. I used to oh, love no. seeing them. Love seeing them. But I also used uh, to be scared seeing them all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> they were so intimidating. Just their presence. It would frighten me as a sixteen-year-old kid. I get it, man. Listen to Ghetto Story Part Two. You'll be you'll be scared all over again. Um, bacon, egg, and cheese, or sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm back and forth, but these days I'm sausage, egg, and cheese. 
I'm with you. I'm not a big bacon guy. There's no real wrong answer. Bacon keeps fucking up my teeth, man. I like my bacon a little harder, and it keeps mm. fucking up my fillings and shit. Bite on a, a hard piece of bacon, that'll get you. Yeah, that don't sound like a good time at all. I'll be, I'll be real. <laughs> did did Bo watch Pop Star? I don't know. What's the next next question. Um, you said you were going to buy it or rent it for me. Yeah, you said you were going to buy Slay the Spire. What Who's in that? Popstar? It's a Lonely Island movie. You, you said it? you were going to buy me a pair of glasses. I didn't even know they had a movie, dude. Fucker. Oh, I got to see this. Dude, He's been telling me to, to watch we it. We need to wrap I live in a bubble. I live in a bubble somewhat. I'm sorry. Dude, you don't understand. You're about to watch your favorite movie. It's a Lonely time. Island movie? Man, I'm that's just probably <laughs> great. I'm watching it right after this. I, I can't believe that you're saying this. It's... Dude, it's some their stuff, best song. You'd be surprised, man. Certain stuff I haven't just I haven't run into. It's their best songs. Whoa. Yes, dude. Tiffany, did you know there's a Lonely Island movie? <laughs> did you hear her? She just went no. It's called Pop Star. It's it's uh. It's called Pop Star, and I have heard of that, right? I didn't know it was Lonely Island. Sorry. You gotta get on. We gotta hang up so that you can go watch. <laughs> it. I fucking eat pizza and watch that movie. You gotta get. Yeah, you gotta get out of here. Spin go, kick. Uh, Oh, I'm not seeing. Oh, favorite Chauncey story. Connecticut Life. <laughs> uh, I can't tell him on here. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Can't. Yo, shout out to my fucking dude right there. That's my brother, man. We're going to have shout him out on to eventually. Air, to Chauncey. That's going to be a legendary episode. Whenever you we need to have him on me. like next week. I yeah. mean, that that's <laughs> going to be legendary episode. Agreed. I can't. That'll even, be not stories from tour. You won't even be time. able to breathe. You won't. Be, oh, dude. I mean, you're getting some ultimate hard lore stories from tour with yes. him. I need it. It's coming. I <laughs> Dude, just one, be one a- time me and him almost got beat up by the bouncers at CBGB's. I mean, I, I, maybe we wouldn't have gotten beat up. There was a lot of us, but we were so high. We thought we were going to get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, fair. That was a crazy. We were, we were smoking weed backstage and they had. The no cigarette smoking inside had just mm-hmm. kind of started. So, like, if you were smoking Bloomberg, weed, right, it stood right, out. Boom. Okay. Mm. You know, and this guy was like, you're going to fucking buy. It was a whole thing. Uh, and then he killed you both. No, Eric. <laughs> Eric talked. He talked. He talked. He talked. He talked to him out of it. Somehow he got us out. I would love to hear it. that verbatim. Yeah. In er- Eric's iconic voice. It's good. One of the great voices of our of our. He's the songbird of our, of uh, several <laughs> generations. He is, Eric. You hear this? We love you, man. We really do. He's he's. I, I will never forget because when Sean Martin joined Twitching Tongues, mm-hmm. it was like I think Eric was one of the guys. Another one like, of the yeah. greats, man. Yeah, that's my. That's right. Whatever Eric. he needs, whatever he needs, he gets. I mean, he's a fucking king. I'll do anything for him. But that was one of the guys where I think I think Chauncey was one of the reasons. Chauncey being like, "Yo, those those dudes are you know like just putting on for us a little bit was enough." But I'll never forget that first show back was at Gilman, uh, where Sean played. Or so was Sean. Okay. And and Eric was just on stage like tears from his eyes while it was happening. Mm. It was the best. Like looking at that was one of the best moments of like my whole life. Just looking wow. Is there anything better than having the people you love so much on stage with you when you're oh, fucking dude. just bringing the pain? No. It's the Absolutely best. Not. I saw a tweet recently. I don't know who it was. I think it was somebody from LDB Fest. Mm-hmm. And I and I'm not I don't know them that good, so you know, I I, I don't I mean nothing by this, but yeah. they were talking something like, you know. There's not going to be that many people on stage for our thing, like when they were talking right. about like FYA or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I remember just thinking, man, why you gotta why you gotta ruin everybody's fun? Yeah, when it when it gets to the point where like members of the band can't move, it, it's like that's when it's a problem. But from a from a a performing perspective, if I look to my left and right and I see my boys in some capacity. I'm having the a way better time. Yeah, I see. I and and I guarantee you, people in my band, especially the instrument players, will not agree with me. I love when the when it gets so the guitar player can barely move. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. At, I want like, my don't... shit to look like a Mob Deep show in Queens, man. I I completely agree. Because the first thing I think is like, wow, thank you for being here. You know, wow, that's <laughs> awesome. 
Thank you for watching us. That's sick. You know, I, um, I'm with I, you. I, I it's just I like it. it's just like ah, we did it, man. You know, like for yeah. me, like all my friends are like I I consider them a part of the band. Yeah. You know, like five people, I I consider a part of the band. You know, so Mind Force has ten people. Mind Force probably has eight eight people in the band. That's awesome. Yeah, a bunch of them I put even in the liner notes. You know, I put the players mm-hmm. and the team. Love it. You know, I need those guys up there. You know, how do you feel about it, Bo? I think uh, a f- a fest shouldn't really weigh in on it. I think the band should. Have yeah, the it's final a say. it's a case by case basis. They're they're performing. I want who I want on stage while I play. If I if POI plays another show and there's not at least 37 people on stage, I will not walk on stage. I love that. I will not walk on stage. And I know Aaron will be with me. Oh, I guarantee it. He'll be with me. He'll have pre-rolled. Chauncey's pre-rolling joints now. Pre-rolling. <laughs> and he's pre-rolling 37. And LDB Fest and, and Associates, I know that you're here with us listening. I love you know, LDB Fest. We love the fest. One of my yeah, favorite they, shows I've ever played was LDB. Can't wait I, to go next month. I also think that people don't, from like pictures and stuff of FYA, you don't get the perspective of like, yeah, yeah there's a bunch of people on stage. There's a lot more people not on stage. Like it does, it didn't look that yeah. crazy. I mean, the don't T-Y. get me wrong. I totally get why it sucks for a lot of people, yeah. but for me, it's yeah. fun. The TUI stage situation was definitely, that was rough for sure. Crazy. Yeah. But yeah. it was like, but if you looked at the, the crowd was, was live music fans. Who who were like seeing Trap and Rice for the first time? The Moshers had to be on stage because because the Moshers weren't safe amongst the crowd. Mm. You know, there was mm. no there was no spin kicking. Oh, was that it was, tight? It was, oh, it was tight. so it was packed, dude. Packed beans. I like that playing. Not a fan if I'm Moshing. Beans. Agreed. Playing and I see beans, can of beans, can of sardines singing. It's like, damn, I'm a fucking legend. Yeah, it's dope. But, but, but when I'm trying to spin kick and I can't make a full 360 rotation. Come on, man. How are you going to get home? that momentum? You can't. You can't. Can't be done. Cannot beans. be done. You good, Bo? <laughs> beans. Fuck, beans are like the <laughs> loosest thing. It you got to like respect me. The worst. Oh, that was good. A can of beans. Fuck. Well, Jay, this was... Maybe the longest episode yet. Ah, oh, fuck, man. I'm sorry. I'm talking. No, it's no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. All of a sudden, it was two hours. One of the greats flew by. I I willingly missed my urgent care appointment. By the way, <laughs> it's it wasn't oh, even bro. urgent. Scarlet That's fever heading my way. I've had you some bad need... experiences at urgent care, man. The one by me is good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah I go often. <laughs> well, Bo's going to urgent care. <laughs> no, I'm going to watch it. Pop Star. It's over. I'm going to listen to Box Star. Cutter. And then watch Do that Popstar. and then watch Popstar. Dude, Ghetto Story Part 2. You got to send me a message after you listen to it. That verse, you're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. And it's I think it's two notes. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah. Those are the it's coolest incredible. ones. Two notes. Ghetto Story Part 2, Box Cutter. Shout out Jotham, friend of the show. Jay, Yo, guys, Mind peace. Force. Incredible time. Uh, we'll Let's do this oh, again someday. We, I got one more question. We didn't even yeah. ask it. All right, let's see oh. that. You're driving down the highway. Oh, my God. Mm. There's a giant, golden, glistening sign. It's magical. It's got any fast food place ever. It doesn't matter where you are. You got just enough time. You're pulling off. What's What's the the one one that makes you go, oh, they got a X, Y, Z? I'll give you my main one, and then I'll give you some uh, some contenders. Perfect. This may shock you. But it's actually McDonald's. Not shocking at all. And the reason is there's certain things that I just, I always know nuggets bad for me are still doable. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff, man, at 3 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Dunkin' Donuts is another one, though. I will pull over for some fucking Dunkin' Donuts. Wow. First Dunkin' First, Yeah, first. But but I, but as for what, you know, him from Connecticut, and in Chicago, they're everywhere. I I love Dunkin' Donuts. I'm all I'll stop it at Dunkin' any love time. Dunkin Donuts. But my favorite fast food chain, I can't say I'd stop for it because it's only in one state, Connecticut, is uh, Duchess. Duchess. I'm not. Duchess. Wow, we've not talked about Duchess on the show. It's Connecticut mm-hmm. staple. Frank Pepe's Duchess. 
fucking stage diving. Yeah. Connecticut. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. Yo, I can't believe you've never had Duchess. I I I probably had it when I was ten or so. You most you know? definitely did. I moved a long time ago. So the buns, bro. Yeah, it's just I my dad didn't know shit about he didn't never there we lived between a McDonald's and Burger King, so that's what we were getting, you know? Mm. And then my mom Oh, I fuck with Burger King. There's a lot of Burger King haters. Dude, there's a Burger lot King. of haters. And I also fuck with Burger King. I fuck King. with Burger I, King, dude. Their fries it, are fucking good. I love, love the fry, but Bur BK has scorned me more than any anywhere. What's your favorite like at McDonald's or Burger King or Wendy's, what's your favorite, like, I don't know if this is the right term, seasonal, not seasonal, like, they only have it oh, for a oh, little oh. bit. I know. This is the, hard for me. This, I, there's a few things. The Italian chicken sandwich from Burger King. Oh, dude, I've never had that. It's mozzarella with marinara on the wow. chicken sandwich. Wow. Do you remember the mozzarella chicken supreme from Wendy's? They haven't done that yeah. in years. That's just I do remember that. Kind of sounds like that. I'm a sucker for all of that because there's never like a mm. mayo or any bullshit on it. It's mm. I can always get it exactly how it comes, and that's that's like my favorite thing. I only like mayo on my breakfast sandwich. Wow, I've never heard that. I'm a fucking freak show, man. That's all right. The spicy <laughs> McNugget to me. That's mine. Oh, yeah. What are they doing, bro? What are why? They doing? I'm sorry. I'm getting so passionate. I'm talking loud into the mic. <laughs> why? Where is it? Why do they have to take it away? Man? Bring it, it. Give it to me. I'll go there five days a week. If why is it be. so much better than the other chain spicy nuggets? It's crazy. Bro. Because it's, but here's the thing. The McNugget was made, tested, mm -hmm. battle tested in a, by a scientist in a lab to be Better than anything else. And how great that, is it when you get that box and it says spicy on it? It's got oh, that extra stuff. It's and then you open it and they're a little redder. Little, yeah, yeah. Yo, man. And Do then they got that why? sauce. I was on a tear. This is why I gotta fucking go <laughs> the health the health diet or whatever. Because was I was on nuggets? a tear. I was going on this drug run to buy I mean, to buy a bunch of weed in Massachusetts because mm -hmm. it was legal there before yeah. it was here. And I would buy a, a ton of fucking, I mean, I, don't, I was, yeah, I would buy a bunch of stuff and I would come back. But right <laughs> next to the dispensary, I almost, I almost gave all the details. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> um, right next to the dispensary was a extra good McDonald's, dude, bro. McDonald's, oh, dude, they're, like they're, they're it was a there, better they're, one. They're unicorns, but they're out there. Yeah. And I would, I would get my joint. I would get. Spicy chicken McNuggets. I would eat the nuggets first. What's the drink? Dude, this is going to shock you. Bottled water. <sighs> Dasani, a cool Dasani bottled water. I, 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 I <laughs> take now it. You're sick. Now I believe me. you. You're sick. Now, it's not but, because it's Dasani, but just because I'm a water guy. You need a water. I don't fuck with soda, guys. Wow. That's I don't sad. fuck with soda. And it's not. To I blame part of it on my parents. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't have soda in the house. So I would like go over to my friend's house and be like, damn, what's this shit? <laughs> this is spicy. <laughs> and um, I'm, I don't like bubbly drinks. Wow. Huh. You're blessed for that because yeah, you're better off. I don't. Yeah. I don't know why. I just I don't Even like seltzer, shit. seltzer water. Not, none of that. None of that. The one, yeah. my favorite, if I had to, if, if I'm going soda, is Mountain Dew. Respect. <laughs> But I think it's just because it's so Utmost sugary. Respect. You know what I mean? It is. Yeah. That you you can. That's a meal. That's not a soda. <laughs> one time mm -hmm. I ate. I mean, one of my favorite old snacks. Like if I ate, like if I just smoked a bunch of blunts and shit all day, and then I go <laughs> home and I'm just on the couch. Yo. Box of fruit snacks, bottle of Mountain Dew. I would have believed wow. that you were a fruit snacks guy. I love. I'm definitely a fruit snacks guy. Okay. Fruit snacks that makes a lot of sense. Wow. Man, this, I'm just thinking about Spicy McNuggets. Now. Yeah, me too. Oh, I think I'm going to so go good, dude. Yeah. Dude, the week that they came out, <laughs> I think- You went every day? Me and old, me and old Brody King mm. probably had be between 40 and 80 a day the first week. <laughs> I, I would like to one day. <laughs> I would like to, <laughs> as a small- you know, you know, I'm just a small little dog. I would like to hang with the Great Danes one day and see if I could keep up. 
Because I, I would, I'm I, I would see, like to try. I would like to try. I think I might either. surprise some people. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I would love to see that because, to me, sometimes I'm a little dog with the Great Danes, you know, and I smoke them. Mm, food. Well, I mean, you're kind, of, you're kind of a Great Dane, my friend. I appreciate that. That's new, though. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's I'm new to that. <laughs> so. But my appetite has been that of a of a whale or a walrus for if you will <laughs> for decades. <now. laughs> my thing is, is I can't always eat a lot, but if I like something, I can eat a shitload of it. There's a German word for that. Really, Bo? Do you know what it is? No. My wife's There's from German. German. Word. My, well, I mean, I don't know if she'll know it. There's a German word for when you're full, but the food is so good that you don't want to stop eating. Can I ask her? Can I ask her? Yeah, let's ask her. Fat ass. Is there a German word for when you're full, but the food is so good you don't want to stop eating? Hmm. I'm putting her on the spot. She don't know. She's going through everything. <laughs> That's okay, babe. Yeah, I mean, how would you know something right. so specific? She did great. Yeah, she did so great. I swear it's a thing, though. Shot to it. my German, I see Valde. Waldensamkeit, which is, means the feeling of being alone in the woods. So I don't <laughs> think that's it. But if that's any cool. real Germans are, are watching, uh, let us know what the word is for when you're so full, but you the food is so good that you don't want to stop eating. But that's it for today. This was this we was called a, them Americans. Yeah. That's what we're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, it'll, it'll just say my full legal name. So, <laughs> that's really fun. Th Jay, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, guys, uh, man. Yeah, shout you. out to Mind Force, Pillars of Ivory, Hudson Valley. Thank you. Incredible episode. Shout out to thank you, guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Jay, for joining us. Have a great night. Peace. Watch Bye. Bye.